They came out of nowhere. With their cruisers, plasma weapons, and mechanical beards. Organized. They took our village by force. They left nothing behind but tears and devastation. They were looking for gold and Elysium, the girl that fell from the sky. And only one person was prepared to save her. He woke her up, contacted her fiance, and took her to the lower ascension station, only to learn the shocking truth once he got there. Cletus. Gold's fiancé wasn't acting out of love. He had an agreement. With Ulysses, the mysterious leader of the Organon. And Argus, his right hand. They needed the Ascension Codes, hidden away in Gold's brain implant. And they wanted to erase her memory. They wanted to make sure no Elysian would ever know that our world is inhabited. For their goal was terrible beyond imagination. They wanted to blow up our world. But they had failed to reckon with the one. He swapped the cartridges. And he restored Gold's memory so that she could bear the truth to Elysia. The name of this one man, this selfless hero, was Rufus. Um, that wasn't the whole story, was it? That was the first part. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Sounds a bit unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably cool. But if it really all happened like that, shouldn't I be on my way to Elysium with Cletus? So what are you doing here? Where is Cletus? Why am I unable to remember any of this? And forgive me for asking, but... Why is there a burning saw blade stuck in the side of the ship? Oh, uh, that. Oh, well, I was about to get to that part. So listen up. You're being pathetic. Began about accurate bacteria in the fridge, it's getting boring. But packing bags due to the tea socks I threw to clamshade shrimp order some anodons gone. Didn't I explicate it? Are you still not persuaded? Is grass growing on your time panic membrane? Remember to pull yourself, sacrifices and oh gosh, not to start all over again. To start all over again. Trash. Trash. And more trash. Isn't it adorable? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hard to imagine I ever wanted to leave here. Ah, Rufus. This is the lad I was telling you about. What? Him? From what you told me, I had imagined a smart young man, not a filthy bum. There's more to him than meets the eye. When I first met him, Rufus was still a... How shall I put this? Just say it. I was a self-indulgent slob, but I'm steadily improving. 
That's right. Right now, for example, he is helping Bozo to get the trawler shipshape. So I am. I was going to ask you whether I can borrow your hammer. No problem. You can take it from my toolbox over there. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. I still don't know, really. Something just doesn't seem right about that boy. But, Grandma Utz, whatever are you talking about? Hmm. Aren't you worried he might steal something? I trust him completely. Didn't you tell me that he suffers from an exaggerated opinion of himself? Those days are over. Rufus has learned a lot. He is much more careful than before. Rufus seems like a brutal thug to me. Rufus? Brutal? Ha <laughs> ha! Never! I just hope he doesn't turn my whole house upside down. He's just getting a hammer. How much damage could he possibly do? All I'm saying is that he seems very clumsy. Your fears are completely groundless. Rufus has become very careful since his last adventure. Hmm. If that's all true, then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. And he shouldn't give John Thomas too much to drink under any circumstances. Well, if that's all you're worried about. Something like that can kill a little bird. Rufus isn't going to drown your bird by accident. before he used my water supply, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Good. Good. I have to get by on what I have until the end of the month. You almost have me convinced, but there is one thing that still worries me. He had better not clog my garbage disposal. The blades are so sharp. Things are always getting caught in there. Oh, Grandma. You worry about the silliest things. Perhaps I'm worrying unnecessarily. After all, John Thomas is very good at self-defense. Oh, Grandma Utz. As if that would be at all necessary. If you promise me that he will be careful, then everything is all right. Just as long as nothing happens to my John Thomas. Promise. Hmm. Then I should apologize. I suppose your Rufus really must have improved. Well, what do you know? Here it is. Have you found it at last? Uh, yeah, sure. It certainly took you long enough. I hope you didn't leave a mess. Me? No way. But enough chit-chat. Bozo's waiting. Just relax, Rufus. It's not like anything's on fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly.
By the way, what's that funky smell? Rufus, have you gone completely off the deep end? You almost set Grandma Utz's heart on fire. All for a good cause. You committing suicide? No, I'm traveling to Elysium. But Rufus, we've been through all that. I thought you would finally become reasonable. Become reasonable? I am reasonable. And that's exactly why my plan is gonna work this time. What plan are you talking about? Well, what does it look like? It looks like a madman's attempt to refute the principle of action and reaction. Close enough. Goodness gracious me. As soon as I step on these bellows, the cork will hit the three targets one by one. In a spectacular chain reaction, this will cause the rockets to be lit and the safety rope to be cut. I have calculated everything. Just watch and learn. Oh, and keep away from the falling blade if you want to hold on to your fingers. Take a good look. Rufus, no! That's not a good place for a nap. The Bunsen burner could boil away the water in the vase any minute. And when the scales pan goes up, it will trigger the guillotine. The fuse is already lit. Doc, are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Save Doc, or go to Elysium. Darn it, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? And whoop. Oh, perfect body control, as always. I can scratch a little black powder out of there. That shouldn't affect the flight characteristics of the saw blade, should it? <laughs> With the right momentum, I could catapult the black powder into the air intake of the bellow. Easy and totally realistic. If the black powder reaches the flames, it could ignite the gas. Then, there's bound to be an interesting chain reaction whose outcome is very difficult to predict. What am I waiting for? <laughs> oh, it worked! I saved Doc! Ah! Whoa! Rufus. Rufus. Huh? What? How did you get here? I just don't understand. That's because there is nothing to understand. The whole story is nothing but one big filthy lie. Almost as filthy as Rufus, but not quite. Cletus? Of course it's Cletus. Why would that surprise you? I am not the one who barged in here uninvited. I have come to save my planet. Well done, moron. Dole and I had reached an agreement. I was trying to keep the existence of the Deponians a secret from the Council of Elders so that Deponia could be exploded, but Goal convinced me to tell the truth. We were just about to save Deponia. The escape pod was taking us to Elysium. Now, it's useless. We're not going to make it to Elysium, and the Council of Elders will never learn about the Deponia. Bravo, Rufus. That was a stroke of genius. Don't listen to him, Gold. He's lying through his teeth. I don't know. This version does sound pretty convincing. Now, remember, he's lied to you before. The goal that I know would never have let him get away with it. That's because you only know one part of goal. The part that is naive and idealistic. The goal that I know is a fighter who will stand up for what she believes in. But there is a third part as well. And that part sides with me. There is no third part. You tell him, Goal. I, I just don't know. 
I, I can't remember a thing. Of course you can't. Thanks to this Fleabag's brilliant intervention, your brain implant has been damaged. I, I'll fix it. Don't worry. You still don't get it. We have no use for you here. If you really want to help gold, then jump. We're directly over the ocean. With a little luck, you may even survive. No! No, this isn't right! Oh, come on. Do what is best for gold. <laughs> I'm what's best for gold! No! Don't! Ha! Uh, nothing. Why? I wonder if... Uh-oh! No! Goal! You idiot! Goal? No, 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 no! You blasted idiot! Cletus, help me! Hang on! Don't panic! I'll come and get you! Somehow! Do you finally realize the damage you're doing? Cletus! Don't panic! I'll get you! Why don't I do everyone a favor and kill you right here? I'm coming, Gaul! Hang in there! Where do you think you're going? I'm on my way! Watch out! The rope's going to break at any moment! What are you doing? Did you really think you could get away like that? Say bye-bye, Rufus. Cletus! No! Cletus! Ah! 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 Oh dear, what have I done? Ah! I still can't believe he really did that. No need to worry, really. He's just like a wombat. He often falls, but he always lands on all, uh, um, all the others. I know. What is that noise? Ah! What the? Goal? Ah, uh, don't be silly. If that were gold, the next we could expect. Ah! Rufus. Rufus. Ouch. Everything's ready for detonation, Bailey. Acknowledged, Chief Blaster. Anything else? Are there no new instructions? We can start the countdown now. I appreciate your eagerness, but this is not a training maneuver. This is about destroying the zone around the Rust Red Sea before we blow up the entire planet. I see, Bailey. Stop interrupting me. I know very well what is at stake here. Do you think I wasn't aware of all the implications? It is true. Inspector Cletus has not yet reached Elysium. We can only guess what kept him, but as long as there is still hope that he will complete his task, we need not worry. Until then, I don't want to hear about any countdowns. Do you understand? Yes, I do, Bailey. Cletus is going to succeed. He will convince the Council of Elders that there is no sentient life on Deponia. And if he should fail, then we shall see to it that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Dismissed. I have too many worries of my own to deal with your moral misgivings. So get out! Out, I say! Yeah, yes, sir. Where the devil is Cletus? The most epic tales feature cool depictions of saw blades crushed into cable boat walls. The attempt was all blunt stunned, effective goals and planned, which surely can't be blamed on Rufus at all. Reckoning up the sun, the best was yet to come. For the end of part one seemed a little too coarse, and to amend we'll sell him to attend a second chance for a decent happy end in the grand fling with dancing and boots and so forth. with boots and so forth. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. I think I ought to fire my chiropractor. Doc? Huh. We seem to have docked. But where is everybody? Huh. A note from Bozo. That old pirate. Good morning, Lazy Bones. Doc took gold to his office. Huh. Finally, someone who uses his brain. She wasn't feeling all that well. Yada, yada, yada. Blood from her ears. Blah, blah, blah. You can find me in the tavern. Tavern? Now that sounds promising. Huh, there's something else. Don't forget to go and see Doc. He needs your help. <sighs> Why can't they ever manage without me? Ah, nothing beats a fresh breeze from the sea. The smell of freedom and adventure. And tar and toxic chemicals. And Tony's mother? Shh, you're scaring the fish. Ugh, rotten fish. Close enough, but this native presents a welcome opportunity to make use of my cosmopolitan tactfulness and my linguistic skills. Me... Rufus, where I find lab belong to Doc. Are you talking to me, ape man? We put maps up for people like you. Ah, you mean heroes passing through? I mean people we prefer not to talk to. Hey, just so you know it, I have an excellent sense of direction. I don't need your stinking maps. So what you looking at it for? I'm not looking. I'm just shooting it a contemptuous glance. Oh, Doc's office is in the industrial park. But where's the tavern? Ah, oh, well, who cares? I guess I'll go see Doc first. Then. I can look around the town later. First, I have to help Doc get Goal back into shape. Can't have the old coot grabbing all the credit for himself. What a cute little doggy you are. I beg your pardon. My name is Cleverbite. I'm an autonomous, cybernetically highly developed service unit programmed to perform complex security tasks. Cleverbite. Oh, such an amusing name for a robodog. I will not suffer such indignities. Through the neuronal connection of computer circuits with organic cerebral matter, I am capable of processing more than 3,000 floating point operations per second. Can you sit up and beg? Perhaps not. But I could sit up and grab something until you beg me to let go. You know, you've got quite an attitude for a cyber whatever mongrel, but I'm pretty sure that your bark is worse than your bite. Do you hear me barking then? Uh, I don't know. All I can hear is... I'll ask Doc to make you a cyber muzzle. To do that, you would need to get past me, right? <laughs> I'm not going to allow some stupid mutt to block my path. Actually, I'm a superior cybernetic... Let me show you who is superior here. Down! I am not sure I have comprehended your intention. That's because you're only a silly dog. It might help if you could talk in complete sentences. Let me through. I have to see Doc. Oh, but I can't do that. If I let you through, my designation as a watchdog would be completely compromised. And if you don't, you'll be completely compressed. I think you're forgetting who's the superior species here. Then why don't you simply show me? <laughs> Who's a good robot dog? Hmm. I need to think about that one. Hmm. Your mother, perhaps? What? Oh, you rotten! <laughs> Stupid mutt! What? You're giving up already? How disappointing. <laughs> Hey!
Hey, look what I've got. And now, be a good dog and fetch the stick. What's wrong? Fetch the stick. Or are you too stupid? Yes, exactly. That's it. Fetch that stick. Hmm. No. You go fetch that stick now. Atta boy. If you're so fond of that stick, why don't you go get it yourself? And if you're a good boy, I might even let you pass. <laughs> Go on! I just threw a stick, and you are a dog. So, what do dogs do in a case like this? I wait for you to make an even bigger fool of yourself? No, wrong! You fetch the stick, or are you too stupid? Wait, wait, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, boy. You... Did you really just do that, did you? <laughs> I, I can't take it anymore! Maybe the fixture's loose. <laughs> DeCapo! DeCapo! <laughs> exactly. That barking trash can may think he can shock me, but I'll show him what a shock. What? Well, I'm, when when the shock? I mean, what what the what the shock? Oh, whatever. Some ingenious pun with shock. <laughs> shock. <laughs> because of the electric shock and, and and so on. Oh, come on, Rufus. You don't need a punchline to be brilliant. <laughs> now he's in for a nasty shock. Hey, what's wrong? Are you giving up? Yes, you were right. This stick business is just too much for me. You stupid muddy cur. Here, like this. You put the stick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I can't take it anymore! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Oh boy, 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 oh boy! Hey, Doc. Rufus. At last, Goal really almost bought it this time. But, as I can see, you have everything under control. I'll, uh, go look for Bozo, then. He mentioned a tavern. Her implant has been badly damaged. I need to operate right away. There is only one problem. The data cartridge is not going to survive the procedure. I take it that's a bad thing? Well, yes. Her entire mind is stored on the thing. Her memory, her character, the ascension codes. I can save the data, but I need a bunch of empty cartridges. And these cartridges are hard to obtain? Mm, not really. This is the floating black market, after all. There's nothing you can't get here. And brain implants are currently all the rage. I installed another one just the other day. You will find the cartridges in the gadget shop. What? Why me? Because I need to get ready for the surgery. And I need to familiarize myself with the local circumstances. Bozo said something about a tavern? Rufus. All right, all right. So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. The cheap ones are bound to cause problems. Well, it's your money. 
So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. Talking to the three-headed platypus behind you. We've been watching you. We know what you're doing. Oh yeah? Seems like you know more than I do. You spread fast in the floating black market. You've got something very valuable there. It mustn't fall into the wrong hands. And your hands would be the right ones? Let's just say we're friends. We're the good guys. We fight against oppression by the Organon. Death to the Organon. The Organon is planning something. Something unspeakable. So unspeakable that we cannot talk about it. We've got to go. We've already said too much. But we'll be back. Then we'll get what is right for the heirs. Do not talk about this to anybody. Keep your back to the wall. And do not forget who your true friends are. Death to the Organon. Death to the Organon. What was that all about? And who have we here? Well, if it isn't the newcomer that everyone's talking about. They're talking about me. High time, too. All those stories of my heroic deeds are actually quite understood. We're not interested in fairy tales. You've got something that we want. <laughs> Tough. Good looks is something you're born with. We are talking about the secret ascension codes. The ascension codes? Over my dead body. Uh, wait. Let me rephrase that. Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Oh! Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Oof! Ow! Oh. Ow! <laughs> he hasn't got the money. I guess he isn't as stupid as he looks. So what do we do now? We'd better report this to Donna. Oh. Oh. Lots of friendly people here. Maybe I should tone it down a bit. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat 2000. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, Doc sent me to get a set of cartridges. Of course, we currently offer two different brands. The first is Platinum Proof Professional. They are somewhat more expensive, but of better quality. There is a cheaper kind as well. Cowboy Dodo's Jolly All-Purpose Cartridges. Their quality may not be top of the line, but they come with a free colorful lollipop. 
a lollipop. So which brand do you prefer? Um. And those are really the good cartridges? Of course. Remember, Gold's mind is at stake here. All right. Here goes nothing. Did it work? I'm not sure. Something's not right. Rufus? Oh, I might have known. Why does the same question pop up in my mind every time I set eyes on you? Who's that good-looking guy in the snappy overcoat? Where am I? Because the aura of my magnetism is befuddling your sense of orientation. Seriously, where did you drag me off to this time? And what is that awful smell? This is the floating black market. You're safe here. Safe? Rufus, I was on my way to Elysium. Well, yes, you were, but with the wrong guy. Cletus wanted to help me. And you trust that lying slime bag? Yes. Who I am more likely to trust? My fiancé or his cheap imitation? Hey, what's up with you? What's up? I wake up only to find myself in some stinking torture chamber. That's what's up with me. I'm already itching all over just because I'm forced to breathe this foul, polluted air. I'm about to be sick. I need to get out of here. She seems to be pretty mad. Not really. I just have a certain effect on explosive women. What? Lighting the fuse? Yeah, very funny. But she actually did seem a little volatile. Are you sure you didn't mess her up somehow? Hmm. I think I might be able to explain this. Some information wasn't written to the cartridge. Almost as if we'd used the cheap ones. Not as cheap as your excuses. Her mind appears to have been split three ways. So, the woman who just stomped out of the lab is only a part of gold? And not the most agreeable part, I hope. Come on, Doc. I thought you were an expert. It is nothing that I can't fix. But for that, I need all three cartridges, including the one that is currently inserted in her implant. Also, I cannot operate without the consent of the patient. Therefore, all three parts of Goal must cooperate before I can go ahead with the surgery. Oh yeah, judging from her mood, she'll be positively enthusiastic about you flipping open her skull again. Hmm, agreed. Maybe you had better start with a different part of her character. Huh? Take the two cartridges that are still in the output hopper. And this thing. What is it? A remote control? Not quite. See that compartment in the back? Just insert one of the other cartridges and press the button when you're close to go. That's what I said, a remote. It's more complicated than that. Data's written to a buffer and... And I can zap back and forth between two characters. No. Yes. Something like that, but just like a remote. <sighs> just like a remote. Cool. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Hurry up, Rufus. The longer the fragments of her character get used to their independence, the more difficult it will become to talk them into having that surgery done. Go find Go and persuade her. All three parts of her. I will prepare everything else here in the meantime. All right, here we go. The cartridge fits. Now the remote just has to work. Thanks to my charm, the rest will be child's play.
Can't you sing something else for a change? Uh, but it isn't too bad. I have just uno singolo spartito. Only one musical sheet, comprend? <laughs> Some of it. Do you really have to keep rowing through the canals and singing? I need to drive off the How do you say? Boredom? Ah, well, now that makes sense. Cool gondola. With all the extras? Well, what extras? I don't mean to worry you. But the Organon is planning to blow up Deponia. No apprezione. Don't talk to me. Con una bella canzone on your lips. All is gonna be bene in the end. Nothing's gonna be bene. The whole planet is gonna go kablooey. So I will sing the Lora. La 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 la. Oh, brother. I hope they hurry up with their explosion. Arrivederci! Huh? What the thing? Oh, nothing. All right, Rufus. This is a routine situation for a ladies' man like yourself. Easy peasy. No reason at all to be nervous. You are eloquent and witty. Very handsome. And your hair smells of salt. Now, for the right facial expression. Here it comes. Check. Charm cannons at full blast. <laughs> and now, to come up with the best possible line. Oh, that's it. A classic. Take a deep breath, and then... <sighs> Here I go. Oh, heavens, it's you again. You never give up, do you? So, this is where you've been hanging out. Believe me, I would much rather be on the West Promenade by the Rotating Gardens. At this time of year, Morris serves the best soyacino in all of Elysium. Instead, I'm sitting in this hole in the ground drinking... What is this, anyway? Camel drool. What else? Camel drool. No, wait. The camel drool's still under the counter. What you got there is the tincture for my nail infection. Ah! Does that mean you bathed your filthy nails in this? Yeah, but go ahead and drink it. Apparently it only works on fingernails. And this is where my mechanisms of repression should be kicking in. Ah! Here they are. Are you mad at me for some reason? Whatever makes you think that you kidnapped me, caused me a bad head injury. That's not the way I remember it. You appear to be suffering from a perception disorder. You mean, in reality, you're not sexy at all? Just stay away from me. Understood. You have to come with me and see Doc. What for? So you can demolish my head even further? Ah, really turned your head, did I? Turning heads and demolishing them are two different things. With Tony's tortoise, they weren't. Listen, Rufus, I am dirty, my hair is a mess, and my head feels like someone sliced through my skull with a circular saw. Yes, but there's no proof. And to top it all off, I'm starving. So, you had better stay away from me. Hey, if you're hungry, I've got a leftover bowl of peanuts from our last mud cake festival. Ooh, yuck! It's growing hair. I bet this little bowl contains more killer bacteria than a biological warfare lab. Nah, 
We're all out of killer bacteria. These are influenza viruses. You must come with me. Something went wrong with the surgery. What do you mean something went wrong? Well, y you know the fairy tale of, about the three bears? It was pretty much like that, just that there were no bears. And that your mind was, uh, you know, split three ways during botched brain surgery, that's all. <laughs> what? what? Now, don't, don't panic, I'll fix everything. Won't you please just come along? No, I'd rather starve here. Can't we speed this up a little? We both know that you can't resist me forever. I said no. And if you were a gentleman, you would know what that word means. What do I have to do to make you come along? First of all, you should look up the meaning of the word no. Yeah, all right. Let's assume I just did that. What would I have to do next? Could I interest you in a romantic dinner? A dinner invitation? Really? Huh. Maybe there is a spark of gallantry left under that filthy coat of yours. Dinner first. You can go looking for my gallantry later. Which restaurants do you have in mind? And is it clean? A restaurant? I was thinking of, you know, an extra serving of peanuts. I mean, they're free, aren't they? Yeah, if you don't count the doctor's bill. Ah, great. Oh, it sounded too good to be true. Just forget it. Hey, baby. Uh, there he goes again. We're actually not all that different. Neither of us belongs on this planet. That's right. I belong on Elysium, and you belong in solitary confinement. No, no. What, what I meant was we belong together. We, we are soulmates, so to speak. I have no idea where you get that notion. I am sophisticated. I am educated. Check. Check. I haven't got any communicable diseases. Uh, but I still maintain that we're, we're very similar. Just don't come too close to me, will you? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? It did indeed. Oh, right. Yes, I, I can imagine. Here's looking at you, kid. Why? Do you have a sty or something? Now that you mention it, I, I've actually got a little eye infection. Ugh, keep your distance, okay? What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Good question. What am I doing here? Oh, I remember. You dropped me from the escape pod. Saved you, dropped you. Doesn't all that depend on, on the point of view? <laughs> Only if you're a short-sighted idiot. Luckily, that's easy to verify. Hey, Bozo, did I rescue Goal? No idea. I gave up trying to understand what you were doing a long time ago. You see? Bozo thinks I'm cool, too. I give up. I'm afraid I already know you better than that. Wait here, I'll be right back. Is that a promise? Of course. Good. That increases the chances that you'll stay away. <laughs> what a woman. Huh? What the... Where am I? Don't you know? You haven't had that much to drink. This is still Gulliver's Gully, the darkest dive in the floating black market. Floating black market? Not on Deponia. Where else? Rufus, I'll wring his neck. Everything okay? Just give me some of your strongest. As long as I'm here, I may as well rot my brain. One rust red brain death coming right up. Hmm? You again. What do you want? You have to come with me and see Doc. I must? I don't think so. But your health is at stake. Don't worry. I'm feeling just great. But if you don't come... Then what? Will I get bruises? Will my shoulder be dislocated? Will I get a nosebleed? No, not that. But... But you will if you keep bothering me like that. Yeah, well, bother, bother, bother. Uh, Rufus. What? what? A little friendly advice. Never provoke a woman with a temper. Believe me. I once knew a woman who... You, you stay, stay out, out of this! this. Uh, you two do what you want, then. Where were we? I think I was about to bring you with this bar stool. Ah, yes, great. Then let's proceed. 
Hey, no fighting in my bar, you hear? Yeah. We have to keep the Organon from blowing up Deponia. No worries. I'm going to take care of the Organon myself. Really? And just how are you planning to do that? I'll just whoop their butts if they dare to cross me. Damn! Why didn't I think of that? You must come with me! Something went wrong with the surgery! So what? That goes for your birth as well. Do you hear me complaining? Will you listen now? Your implant was damaged when... Meh, you're boring me. Please, go! You must come with me! Make me if you can! I'd love to see how you propose to do that, with no arms and all. I do have arms. Oh, those are arms? I thought you would drop some spaghetti on your shirt. Take a good look at them, because you won't see much of them when I spank your behind. Uh, Rufus, I don't think that's a very bright idea. <laughs> if only I had a Zloty for every time I've heard that sentence. Then maybe I could finally afford the kneecap replacement that people keep telling me I need. I just mean, uh, you gotta be careful with temperamental ladies. Or the steel plate to cover my skull fracture. Are you even listening to me? Or the tympanic membrane transplant. I give up. What do I have to do to make you come along? Uh, you could sing the dumb bum song for me. <laughs> That's a piece of cake. Here comes the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dum bum. Oh yeah. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh man, you're cracking me up. I told you that wouldn't work. But since you refuse to listen to me. Hmm. If I listen to you, will you sing me the dum bum song? I don't know. How the lyrics go again. It's quite simple. Here comes the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dum bum. Oh yeah. Dang! Aren't you even wondering how you got here? Not really. You're in the vicinity. That should suffice as an explanation. Well, <laughs> I'm always good for a surprise. <laughs> you are basically the human equivalent of spontaneous self combustion. Wow, thanks. Damn, that came across much too nicely. Won't you please just come along? Nope, but nope. Oh, stubbornness, thy name is woman. See, I told you it wouldn't work this way. If you want my advice... Nope. But nope. Whatever. So, this is where you've been hanging out. So what? Do I have to ask your leave every time I want to go somewhere? Um, yes, that would be helpful. Dream on, Wim. I don't even know myself how I got here. But since I'm here now anyway, I might as well explore my surroundings. And by surroundings, I mean this drink. Hey, you can't do that. Calm down. It's all on Rufus today. But that was my lighter fluid. <laughs> yeah, that's how it tasted. Hit me with another. Hey, baby. Are you trying to hit on me? <laughs> Save your breath, wimp. Hey, you got me all wrong. I can wrap you around my pinky in my sleep. You'd better beware, or I'll wrap something around your throat in your sleep. See? <laughs> I haven't even started, and you're already fantasizing about you and me in bed together. Ugh. You're actually pretty cool. We're a fine match. Ha! Huh, dream on, Wim. Your mouth is saying no, but your eyes are saying yes. Would you like to hear what my fist is saying? Uh, no. M m maybe not right now. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Yes, damn it. Mm, yeah, right. Probably did, huh? Here's looking at you, kid. Who a kid, you pipsqueak. Oh, yeah? Who are you calling a pipsqueak, you beanpole? Oh, yeah? Who are you calling a beanpole, you rat? Yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, who are you calling a rat, you, you... Hey! No fighting in my bar, you hear? What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Right now, I'm trying not to fall asleep on account of your boring lines. Let me know when I should take you to bed. Uh, 
Yet another dub. Try your macho bullshit on someone else. Ah, oh, would that make you jealous? Get lost now. I'll find a way to make you go all week. As weak as your head or as weak as your arms? As weak as both together, baby. Ugh. Wait here, I'll be right back. No threats, please. What? How did I wind up here? Most people ask that, but very few of them really want to hear the answer. <laughs> You're funny. Hmm? Oh, it's you! How nice! So, this is where you've been hanging out. Have I? That's crazy! I can't even remember how I got here! It doesn't really matter how you got here. What's more important, I know how you can leave here. Oh, in a dirigible! Please! Uh, no, not in a dirigible. Oh. M maybe later. Yippee! You have to come with me and see Doc. Oh my gosh, am I sick then? No, you... Oh dear, I can feel it now. I think I'm running a fever. No, no, you're, you're not sick. Um, my quick run. Look and tell me if my uvula is swollen. Ah! Uh... Will you listen to me? You're not sick. Oh, what a relief. And here I was, thinking I had to see Doc. But you, you, you do have to see Doc. Oh my gosh, am I sick then? <sighs> this is gonna be one of those days. Won't you please just come along? Where? Well, to, to Doc. Who's Doc? Say, did you fall and hit your head? Hmm, I don't know. Did I? Yeah, actually, yes, I, I think so. Can't you remember anything? Yes, you are... Rudy! Rufus. Oh, this is exhausting. My head feels as if a burning saw blade hit me in the temple. Uh, you obviously can't remember anything at all. That makes it even more important for you to go see Doc. Oh, you're probably right. You're such a good friend, Rudy. <laughs> sure. So, are you coming? There's no time to lose. We need to prevent the Organon from blowing up Deponia. Did I hear that right? You're planning to stop the Organon? Don't tell me you're with those resistance fruitcakes. Resistance? What are you talking about? What do you think? Janosch and his people, who else? Janosch? I told him a thousand times that I won't have any conspiratorial meetings in my bar. First, they're all... Death to the Organon! And then I end up having to scrape peanut chips out of the jukebox. Did you hear that, Rufus? A real resistance movement. I heard it. How terribly excited. But the really important thing is that we're both headed to Doc now. We're gonna fix your brain and... We can't do that now. We need to join the resistance. I... Uh, yes. Y what? Will you come along to see Doc now? But Rufus! In a situation like this, how can I think of myself? The fate of the entire world is at stake. I thought we were going to save the world from Elysium. No! You can't save the world sitting at a desk. I was actually thinking about a recliner. Do you know anything about freedom fighters? It takes many little sparks to get a fire going. Actually, it goes faster than that. Oh, Rufus. Here I was thinking you're an activist, just like Yamash. Well, I am. It's just that I prefer recreational activities. What do I have to do to make you come along? I don't know. Can you do magic? Of course. I'm really good at making objects disappear. Oh! Um, too bad we haven't got time for that. We need to join the resistance, just like Yamash. Oh, is this really necessary? Oh, please. Oh, uh, all right. But then we'll go see Doc. Of course. A true resistance fighter will go anywhere. Yanosh, Yanosh. What's up with that Yanosh? That's what I would like to know. No, that was a rhetorical question. Yanosh is the leader of the resistance. You keep raving about him. Really? He must be quite a daredevil. Oh, good grief. Could I interest you in a romantic dinner? Oh, 
that's so sweet of you, Rufus. But I just finished eating all the chocolate chips from that little bowl on the counter. Chocolate chips? Hey, we don't have any chocolate chips. Uh, and where the heck did all those moles go that I just peeled myself? They can't be gone. Nobody would steal such a thing. Wait here. I'll be right back. Yay! <laughs> Hello, bozo, old pirate. We've been through this, Rufus. I am not a pirate. I'm only a junk dealer with my own trawler. Yeah, right. And the parrot on your shoulder is only perching there by chance. I don't have a parrot, Rufus. I've never had one. Is that so? Then who did I feed those earthworms to whenever you were asleep? You're a rare bird yourself. <laughs> An eagle. Say, Rufus. Was there anything in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Certainly. Then what are you waiting for? The multiple choice box. Wait a minute. Worms? Shh. Here it comes now. Oh, don't tell me I slept through the entire passage. Like a platypus. Only you mumbled in your sleep. I was dreaming of my next big adventure. Would that have anything to do with ballet, sweet cheeks? Something went wrong with the surgery. You think so? She looks healthy to me. Well, physically, she's in great shape. Like this. Boom, chaka chaka, boom, yeah! But mentally, it's more like... <laughs> understand? Certain people have mental problems. Yes, I understand that. Her mind has been split into three parts. Now, I have to persuade all three of them to come back to the lab for another round of surgery. Your girlfriend now exists in triplicate? <laughs> Don't stretch yourself too thin. Handling one woman's hard enough, but three at a time? I'll manage somehow. How's the grog around here? This is peppermint tea. Yeah, right. Tell me another one. Pirates drink grog. Everybody knows that. But I'm not. Uh, listen, I talked to Doc. He says your skewed perception may be an indication of a serious head injury. And the scar next to your eye may be an indication of an exciting sea battle. Har! Uh, seriously. Did you ever fall on your head? I mean, between the two times since we've met. Anchors away! Hoist the sails! Avast, ye landlubbers! Yo, ho, 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 ho! Oh, well, none of my business. Just as long as you don't forget to pay me for the passage. Uh, yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum! Arr. What were you gonna say earlier? Something about a very special boarding maneuver? I don't know what you're getting at. Again. Come on, you can't fool me. You pirates are all the same. A girl in every port and constantly on the lookout for new ports, right? Not in the least. Although... Ah! I knew it! My Bambina lives here in the floating black market. But I don't think that really counts. We were only together for two days. And, uh, and then she sent you packing? And she held a pistol to my head for the entire time. Actually, that should count. I do believe Spunky Goal likes me. Spunky Goal? Yeah, she's really something, you know? <laughs> Looks like all of her temperament wound up on one cartridge. <laughs> Whoa, then you better be careful. Believe me. I know that kind of woman. It can be quite tame and playful if you know how to handle them. But make one wrong move, say one wrong word, and out come their claws. <laughs> you think I should buy her a scratching post? The only thing that helps is the right choice of words. It was the same with my Bambina. I only had to say the one all-important sentence. And the tigress turned into a docile kitten in one instant. Oh yeah, then why aren't you still together? Well, I got a little horse, and she made it to a rifle cabinet before I reached the door. Oh. I do believe Baby Goal likes me. Baby Goal? Yeah. I mean, she's really sweet and all that. Unfortunately, she's also very gullible. But then your path should be clear. Go to her and start talking. Uh, I don't know. I do believe Lady Goal likes me. Lady Goal? Yes, she's definitely top notch. One classy lady. She's got style. She's totally, uh... 
constipated. Um, sophisticated? Yeah. I am really going to impress her with my gentlemanly manners. <laughs> Don't you think you'd better have someone give you a few tips first? Go talk to Seagull. He lives uptown. If anyone can help you, it's him. Tell me more about your Bambina. Well, she's the most spirited woman I've ever met. She owns the weapons shop in Little Venice. She's got a killer personality, although she's never been convicted. Been a while since I lost my heart to her. Good thing Doc happened to have a donor heart handy. I think you should pay a visit to your Bambina. What? <laughs> no way. Forget it. Oh, come on. She sounds really hot. Yeah, so hot she could burn out your throat. And she would, too. What are you, a pirate? Or some kind of pie pan? For the umpteenth time, I'm not a pirate. And I'm also not interested in having you entangle me in all kinds of weird adventures. I like my life just fine, the way it used to be before I met you. Peace and quiet. Serenity. Raiding parties, sea battles, mutinies, slaying of the firstborn. Sunday afternoon walks, gardening exhibits. Pillaging, keel hauling, treasure hunts, walking the plank. Damn it, Rufus. Not everyone likes conflicts. I certainly don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. No, no, and no. Yes, 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 yes! On the contrary. On the contrary, I hate conflicts. I... Uh, okay. I give up. Ha! I knew it! You've still got a crush on her, don't you? I'm going to pay her a visit. Meet me in front of the weapons shop in Little Venice. I'm gonna need emotional support and medical assistance. Of course you will, you old swashbuckler, you. You are my optician knows karate. Uh, but Rufus, it's me, Bozo. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Ridiculously good. Uh, you don't think this hat makes my face look fat? And the ruffles pinch a little in the crotch. Nah, it's supposed to be that way. Just right for a day. And is that aftershave I smell? No. Oh, good. Uh, thinking ahead. <laughs> you're, you're all set then. I don't know. Do you really think this is a good idea? Of course. It's gonna be great. Last time you said that, I got stuck on a reef. Yes, but the view was fabulous. Come on, you big baby. Oh, good grief. How did I get myself into this? Jeanette, Brett, how many times do you have to tell you that I didn't shoot your grandpa? Well, at least not on purpose. What? Bozo? Is that really you? Uh, no. Come on in. I don't want to have to dispose of the body of yet another noise pollution officer in the canal. Come on! And now you tell me exactly where you have been all this time. Well... I, I, I was on my way to, uh, to, to what are you doing with that machete? Please calm down, will you? Aren't you and Hulk are glad to see me? Come on, Bambina. 
You know exactly what's gonna happen. First, you're meant mad as a hornet. But as soon as I say this certain line, what's that? Something? No, I don't think so. I mean, doormats can't talk, right? Impressive digs. Ahem. Have you ever heard of knocking? Of course, but I find their new album too commercial. What are you doing here? Don't you at least wipe your feet? Not since my eighth birthday. Back then, my... My... Dad? Rufus? Dad! You're Captain Seagull? I... Ahem. Your shoes, Rufus. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Wow, Dad, this is really a totally radical kick-ass location. And a doormat made of real wombat. Respect. Doormat? Yeah, it's, it's hanging right next to the door. That's my Sunday coat. Oh. Listen, Rufus, I'm a busy man. Just tell me what brought you here, and then run along and play again, okay? Aren't you at all glad to see me? Yes, of course I'm glad. I'm just very busy right now. If you're a good boy and let your old man finish his work, then maybe later we can go feed the seagulls. Feed the seagulls? Are you kidding? I have important things to do. Then it won't matter if I haven't got time for you until later, right? Later. Later. You always say that. I thought you went to Elysium. <laughs> Elysium? Yes, Elysium, you know. You left me to move to Elysium. You can't tell me you don't remember that. Oh, right. <laughs> Yes, I remember, and how. Just what was I thinking? After all, everybody knows that it's impossible to escape Deponia. What a wild and crazy guy I was back then. Always reaching for the stars. Today, I know it's not worth the effort to pursue such crazy ideas. Once you're as old as your dad, I'm sure you'll understand. You can so totally forget that. I'll never be that old, loser.
You changed your name? Nothing to do with you, honestly. But still, please don't go around telling everybody you're my son, all right? Dad, how come you're talking to me like that? You may not have noticed, but I am no longer a child. Ah, you're all grown up now. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Like with a house of your own and a steady income. Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's, um... I'll take that for a no. I'm a tinkerer. I even had a real workshop in Kuvak. <laughs> you're not talking about that toy workbench I once gave you when you were little. Well, I'm, st I'm still way more grown up than you are. So there. <laughs> don't you even want to know what I've been up to all this time? Oh, please don't tell me you wreak some sort of havoc again. What was it this time? Did you set something on fire? Did you steal anything? Destroy someone else's property? <laughs> well, I mean, you, you've got to see that in context. I have to stop the Organon from blowing up Deponia. Then what are you doing here in the floating black market? The Organon are far away. And if anything should explode here, it'll probably be your fault. Yeah, you just don't understand. I don't? So when has the Organon ever blown up anything? Maybe not so far, but, but, but... And how many detonations have you caused this month? Well, I, 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 I... That shuts you up, huh? I'm, I'm still counting. I need to go look after my Elysian girlfriend. Yes, of course. What was her name again? Babsy Boo? No, not Babsy Boo. She's a true Elysian. Her name is Goal. Wait a minute. Are you serious? <laughs> now you're impressed, huh? You meet an Elysian and then bring her here? Didn't I teach you anything? No. You were a great parent. You didn't leave her alone, did you? Don't worry. She's in a safe place, down in Gulliver's Tavern at the harbor. Okay. Looks like I failed to teach you a few essential facts of life. Really, Dad? Let's not go there. I know all about the bees and the flowers, although I may be a little unclear about the concept of pollination. But I'm a real pro when it comes to building hives. If, if, if you know what I mean. You're giving me hives, all right. But let's get back on topic. What I was trying to say is that obviously you never learned how to treat a lady. Have you at least invited her to dinner? Well, there was this bowl of peanuts. I'm talking about a date, Rufus. A romantic date. Hmm. The only restaurant that might be suitable is Shea Schlumpy. At least they offer an exclusive view. But alas, all they have on their menu is platypus. What's wrong with platypus? It's so vulgar. It lives among the flotsam and feeds on table scraps. It could even be the heraldic beast of Deponia. No. Platypus dishes would only remind her that she is stranded in the boondocks. You must see to it that Platypus completely disappears from the menu at Schlumpy's. Can you do that? Ah, piece of cake for a romantic like me. Once you've done that, you may reserve a table in my name. But not before then. Understand? What exactly are you working on? I need to write instructions for my staff. And you consider that more important than talking to your son? We haven't seen each other in years. So why would every second suddenly count now? I am responsible for this house and its personnel. I am also responsible for doing important things, like saving the world. Then why are you still hanging around here? Do I still have to hover over you to make sure you're completing your chores? I haven't told you the half of it. Oh, my, Rufus. What else have you gotten yourself into? I'm actually about to go to Elysium. <laughs> Good luck. I'm serious. I'm going to Elysium. Yeah, right. Come on, Rufus. I am truly flattered that you want to follow in my footsteps. But do you really have to step into every single pile of poop on the way? Not everyone. For one thing, I would never leave my eight-year-old son behind. Really? So you would take him along? Yes, I would. Well, if he takes after you, I hope you'll remember to bring a little shovel and a plastic bag. I'll tell you some other time. Sounds good to me. In the meantime, I'll consult my legal advisor. Don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it.
Welcome to Platypus Paradise. What platitudes may I offer you today? What the heck is this place? It's a souvenir shop. We have everything a tourist could possibly desire. Platypus Greek cards, platypus candy, platypus hats, platypus back scratchers, platypus jewelry, platypus figurines for the mantelpiece, platypus cuddly toys, t-shirts with amusing platypus slogans, and music cartridges with platypus noises. <laughs> well stocked. <clears throat> I take it you're into platypuses. Sure looks like it, huh? Platypuses are my livelihood. If you know where to find them, you can make a small fortune off of them. By selling back scratchers to tourists? <laughs> you have no idea. For one thing, I supply them to the platypus restaurant. I'm also a bookmaker for platypus betting and chairman of the platypus club. Platypuses even inspire my poetry. You, uh, write poetry about platypus. Yep, mainly for greeting cards, but they also appear every week in Platypus Daily. Have you got anything that's not made from platypuses? Well, the platypus figurines are made of clay, but I use platypus wax for the finish. And you also supply the platypus restaurant. Yep, there's good eating on one of those things. What if there's a shortage? Now that would be a disaster. The restaurant would have to completely change its menu. But it'll never come to that. There are unguarded nests everywhere on the floating black market. What do you mean by unguarded nests? In every generation, there's an especially vicious platypus that guards the nest of the bride. What could they possibly do to you? Try to bite your fingers? Let me tell you, they're evil little critters. Oh, don't tell me they can bite through gloves. And jock straps. Oh. So you're interested in nest guardians. Club members get to read all about them in the platypus field guide. Uh, <laughs> yippee. <laughs> What's the deal with this platypus club? Oh, it's great. As a member, you always get brand new information from the world of platypuses delivered to your doorstep. You'll be the first to learn about the wonders of platypus procreation. And you'll know the platypus migration routes even before winter comes. And you'll have feathers grow on your hump. <laughs> platypuses have neither feathers nor humps. As a member of the club, you'd know that. Upon registration, every new member receives the latest edition of the Platypus Field Guide. I hid some trial membership cards in the restaurant's fortune cookies. With a little help from Dane Fortune, you might be able to join the inner circle of platypus enthusiasts. If Dame Fortune really keeps herself busy, I don't know how far I can explain the bad luck. Uh, how can I become a member of the Platypus Club again? It's easy. I hit some trial membership cards in the restaurant's fortune cookies. <laughs> really? Which once again proves that luck is relative. What else can you tell me about platypuses? Quite a lot. That would take all day. <laughs> Nobody wants that. If you were a member of the Platypus Club, you would be issued with a platypus field guide. You can look it all up for yourself then. Ah, <laughs> yes. Life could be so beautiful. <laughs> Grab a bus, platypus. Yes, I will, Ducky Bill. Just a second. I'll be with you right away. Oh, and Almighty Matsunu, your faithful servant has found you another sacrifice. Yes. Yes. Huh, not a bad place. Your am. Please excuse the delay. Ah, oh, no problem. How can I help you? So, what have you got? Well, the dinner menu applies for the restaurant. Here at the takeout counter, we mainly serve platypus burgers. Mm, I hope they're not too greasy. I would hate to ruin my perfect body. Oh, in that case, I'd better ask. Oh, great and wise Matsunu. The sacrifice wishes to know whether our burgers will make you fat. Ravanek cha, Ravanek kam cha. Koro, all natural. Ah. 
Our management would like to assure you that we use nothing but choicest ingredients in our products. And all the essential vitamins are provided by three range lettuce leaves. Just make your choice from the menu. There are three menu options to choose from. Plus, you can modify your choice of menu. It's all explained on the menu. What a romantic place. So, oh yeah. The view, the old town, all that's missing is children and play. Oh, uh, one moment, please. I think he's on to us. He noticed the missing children. Borodeor Sakina. Mumble, snumble, grab our balls. You know, oh Lord of Darkness, sometimes I find you still like scary. Here I am again. Anything else I can do for you? So, what's the deal with these fortune cookies? Actually, I'm not really sure myself. Eh, that's no problem. Then we will have to ask about the fortune cookies, my lord. Meet your bad sources, Padino Murror Pagitana. La Paridox Tomen Paul. You sweet mortals. Right on. And here I am again. The fortune cookies are free, courtesy of the house. And with a little luck, you may even win a trial membership in the Platypus Club. I'd like to order some takeout. Very well. Just make your choice for the menu. Deserves a large tip. Let's say 30%. How very generous. And you can keep the change. <laughs> I can't wait to see if my proverbial tinkerer's luck has landed me a trial membership in the Platypus Club. The greatest happiness is to see others smile. Just a second, how can I help you? I'd like to order the same again. One usual, coming up. Cookie. Since you're bragging about your oh-so-terrific fisherman's luck, maybe you could prove it for a change. Huh, if that's all. There you go. I won. Hooray. What? Show me. 
nothing doing. I won that. And I always wanted to be um, a member of the Platypus Club. But it was my cookie. Ah, shut up. Here's your stupid membership card. I'm already a member of that silly club. Once accidentally fell on a scratch card. And now, leave me alone with your nonsense. Neck high wire acrobatics, brain surgery gone horribly wrong, and then suddenly I'm a trial member of the Platypus Club. I'm a member of the Platypus Club now. Congratulations! You are now officially part of the Platypus community. Will I be expected to shave my head or wear robes? Nope. But you get a free copy of the Platypus Field Guide. Is there a... <laughs> no way to avoid that? Keep it safe. Someday it might save your life. The Big Platypus Field Guide, third edition. Let's see if it says anything useful in there. Hmm, this is interesting. Apparently, in every generation, there is one platypus of each type that guards the nests against thieves. The eggs of these nest guardians are well hidden by the mother. There are four types of platypus, so a total of four nest guardians. Of course! I just need to find the four nest guardian eggs and hatch them. Ha! <laughs> then the corresponding platypuses won't be on the menu anymore, and I can finally invite Gold to dinner. <laughs> this plan is like so crazy, so crazy, it just has to work. It says here that earth platypuses hide their eggs in the soil. It's a good thing I'm not on an island made of flotsam. <laughs> Earth platypuses hatch in frozen soil with the first ground frost. Oh, bummer! I can't possibly wait for the start of winter. It says here that flying platypuses hide their eggs in high places. They seem to be very acrobatic. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> flying platypuses hatch in free fall from the highest point of their habitat. Hey, tricky, but cool. Strange illustration. Looks like the artist didn't know what a landing net is, or didn't know how to draw. It says here that fire platypuses hide their eggs in hot geysers. Geysers? There's nothing like that around here. Fire platypuses hatch in blazing fire. That's what I call an innate flair for a dramatic entrance. It says here that water platypuses hide their eggs near the shore. Well, great! It's not easy to find a place on this hunk of flotsam to which that doesn't apply. Water platypuses hatch, excuse me, in the mouths of living zebrafish? <laughs> hey, disgusting! It also says here that zebrafish are freshwater fish. It may be difficult to find any here. <laughs> Hey, hands off the tree. Okay. What? That wasn't my hands. Because because I did it with my feet. You see? Here. Feet. Boom. <laughs> oh, come on. That was funny. <laughs> oh, what happened? And why does my back suddenly feel like somebody scratched the word revenge into it with a rusty rake? Ugh. Let's see the stress.
<laughs> well. Hey, stop right there. Ah, gotcha! You thought you could fool me, didn't ya? But the wiser man never gives in. But it's no worse than the rest of the stuff I carry. According to the field guide, Earth platypuses brood in frozen soil. So far, so good. Here. Well, hello. So young and already so aggressive. It may not be a water platypus, but it swims like one. I should be able to free it from the ice with that. Ah! Cold!
Let's go, my duck-filled friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> Kinda cute. Go, go, Rufus Rubber Arm. <laughs> This crankshaft without a crank is missing something. Hey, hold still! Oh, darn it. Oh, it seems to have some sort of motion sensor. for the end. No, there's only one way to find out. Ah, right. It was bad. Thought so. It's really dark here, but not so dark that I'll have to use my legendary sonar here. It. After all, I have the brightest eyes in the whole Southwest Quadrant. <laughs> Breathing all that mercury vapor when I was a kid is finally paying off. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 1. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 2. <laughs> this library is a total waste of space. As a real gentleman, I read a lot. As a real blah, 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 that doesn't change the fact that the shelf is big and ugly. Besides, it's too dark in here to read. Ah, that's true. I should buy a new crystal chandelier when I have the chance. But for now, a few candles will suffice. I need candles. There. Here, Rufus. Be so good and take this memo to the servant's mailbox. Yeah, who does he think he is? Well, he is my... Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm not his errand boy. This is no luxury villa. This place is overrun with weeds. 
Those are flowers, Rufus. I have them brought from the garden as decoration. What? <laughs> These hideous vegetables? Uh, they could actually use a bit more water. I need water for the flowers. There. This is no luxury villa. There's even parasites nesting here. That is my aquarium. I collect rare ornamental fish. Rarely significant, maybe. And they're tiny, too. Hmm. I should actually feed them again. I need breadcrumbs. There. This is no luxury villa. The whole wall is open here. That's called a picture window, Rufus. This way I always have an eye on the entire black market. But there's a terrible draft. Ah, the floor heating is actually supposed to compensate for that. I need coal. There. Can't you do anything on your own? That is why I have servants. Oh, yeah. Do they wipe your butt, too? Oh, that reminds me. Ah, I stop need scribbling. Toilet Haven't you noticed that this doesn't save you any time? On the contrary, you spend all your time writing notes. Mind your tone, young man. Pardon me, sir. Oh, wonderful. Now I've lost my thread of thought. What was I going to write down? Ah, that was it. I need thread. Knock, knock. Hmm, who or what are you? They call me Rufus. I'm Crane, but everybody here calls me the poet. Who calls you that? I, I just heard it for the first time. You probably move in the wrong circles. Oh, yeah? If you mean those circles that don't include your ego, you're probably right. That's what I'm talking about. Your place looks a bit austere. I've got everything I need. Yeah, except for an interior designer. Do you know Captain Seagull? <laughs> You mean the idiot who lives above me in the villa? I'm rather fed up with him. Hey, be careful what you say. Seagull is my father. I see. A chip off the old block. But you've got to admit that Captain Seagull has a cool lifestyle. Useless and materialistic. I don't need any of the stuff he needs. What was that again? You don't need any of the stuff that Captain Seagull needs? That's what I said. Huh. Can I borrow some of your things? No. If you're looking for someone who's got stuff to spare, go to Seagull. I only have things I really need. You're such a pathetic wretch. But I'm rich in spirit. Isn't that the same? The Organon is planning to blow up Deponia. Typical. Those up there do whatever they want. Yeah, were you even listening? They want to blow up Deponia. Nobody will survive. Don't you want to do anything about that? But of course. I shall write a cynical poem. I shall call it, They Think There's Something Better. And this poem is supposed to inspire the masses to rise up? Not really. The masses are always too stupid for my intellectual flights of fancy. See you later. Right. Leave me alone. What is that? A message from Captain High and Mighty? You can keep it. I don't need any of the stuff he needs. Well, this message may interest you much more. What? Show me. I need Candles. Damn! He needs candles. I read that. And you have candles. Yes, 
but I... Well? I don't need that sort of thing. Go ahead and take it if you want it. <laughs> you can bet on it. I have another memo from Seagull. Oh dear, I've got a bad feeling about this. I need water. Go ahead and take it if you want it. Go on, help yourself. Mail from Seagull! Oh, please, no! I need bread. So the bread, too. Very well. It's yours! Guess what I have here? Another memo. Bingo! I need coal. <gasps> what else? There goes the coal. Here I am again, and this time... Just take everything you can find. I don't need anything at all anymore, except for a quiet moment to cry myself to sleep. This one catches the eye. Yeah. Secret doors in bookshelves for dummies. Pull on the book titled, Pull Here for Secret Door. Wow! Who would have thought? Pull on the book titled, Pull Here for Secret Door. Wow! Who would have thought? The Flagomat only reacts to human ashes. Huh, <laughs> handy. doing you said I can take everything but those are my mother's ashes hey I didn't make the rules I just bent them a little <laughs>
What was it I didn't want to do again with jars full of hooks? Oh yeah! Stick my hand in! Ow! And they say I don't know anything about fishing. I built a fully functional hook doohickey. This crankshaft without a crank was missing a crank. Rufus, you are a genius. According to the field guide, this is a flying platypus egg. Cool, that's just what my collection was missing. Good idea. Now, I just have to fasten the end somewhere, and I'll have the perfect catapult. The flagomat only reacts to human ashes. <laughs> Handy. Nothing happened. My pants catapult is almost finished. I just need to stretch it somehow. Just for the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the handheld vacuum. Hey, there's a heap of ashes in there that I dumped into the flagomat. Maybe I can use them again. <laughs> Slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My platypus catapult is loaded and ready for action. Well then... Whoa! A perfect trajectory! I'm sure that can be used a second time. to me with antennas. Here, 
Putty Putty. Look at the yummies that Papa Rufus has. It should be possible to build something useful out of it. A landing net for flying platypuses? No, actually. Yes, of course. Heh, <laughs> that looks just like the landing net from the picture in the field guide. It's a good thing I'm such a brilliant inventor. Otherwise, I would have had to practice trial and error forever. Here, Platty Platty. Ha! Got it! Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. According to the field guide, this is a water platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! I would love to claim that I don't rummage around in trash, but who am I kidding? After all, this is Deponia. Ugh, slimy. Oh, that is disgusting. No, I've had it. I simply do not belong here. I... Wait! What's this? Hey, that's my old anchovy bait. It's still good. Look at this! A fine specimen, wouldn't you say? What the? Don't tell me you got that! <laughs> sure looks like it. Holy heck! Perhaps I misjudged you. Just how is that possible when you have so little fisherman's luck? What's your secret, buddy? I use a special kind of bait. Ha! Huh. And now he claims to have a... Wait a minute. Bait is important. And you must have caught that razorfish somehow. Could it be that you really got a special bait? Are you calling me a liar? Not if you show me your bait. Huh. What's in it for me? Well, I could offer you a tiger fish. An ordinary tiger fish against my fantastic special bait? You must be a few worms short of a can. Forget it then. Forget it then, like, so totally. Ha! See if I care. If you want a tiger fish at some point, bring me your special bait. If not, shoot! What's that supposed to be? What do you think? My special bait? Of course. Hmm. That really does look like genuine bait. All right. Maybe you do know how to fish. You can take a tiger fish. Hey, stand still. <laughs> Are you serious? You can't even catch a fish that's already on land? I didn't want it. It was suffering from epilepsy. Yeah, whatever. Keep your bait until you really want a fish. Otherwise, beat it. Fired tranquilizers. <laughs> Better than nothing. Yoo-hoo! What? Where? 
So, what do you sell here? What does it look like? Well, no, seriously, what does it look like? I'm blind, you know. I see mostly mind-altering substances, illegal drugs, and questionable medications. Oh, oh, good, that's all right then. This is my drugstore, apparently. How may I help you? I'm new here. Are there any sites you would recommend? Very funny, I'm blind, just in case you hadn't noticed. Hey, nobody's perfect. Nobody but me! You're blind? How come? Let's put it like this. I should have read the directions for use while I still could. Mm. From here, you know, you've got a great view of the marketplace. Oh, that explains a lot of the noises I've been hearing lately. What do you hear then? Any news or exciting rumors? Sorry to disappoint you, but that rhythmic background music drowns out everything. Except for occasional cheering coming from the arena. Have you been to Bellevue recently? Very funny. Mm, I've noticed that music too. I wish it were possible to switch it off somehow. Too bad I've run out of earworm repellent. Wait a minute. What is that? Uh -huh. Hmm, what's up with that arena? Uh, I've been wondering about that myself. All I know is that it's a cauldron-shaped pit in the center of the marketplace. Some kind of sporting competition is held there, involving platypuses, I think, and water. Water? Yes. Luckily, they've now built a railing around the arena. Boo boo boo! Peekaboo! Get lost! See you later. Not if I see you first. He wants his peace and quiet. He can have it. So what's that supposed to be? What do you think, my special bait? Of course. Hmm. That really does look like genuine bait. All right. Maybe you do know how to fish. You can take a tiger fish. Got it. Congratulations, Mr. Fisherman. Now give me the bait. Huh. I don't know. It's a pretty tiny fish and really big bait. All right, all right. Anything to shut you up. Voila, a zebra fish. Of course. Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life with a couple of targeted electric shocks. All those hours under Dr. Gizmo's defibrillator are finally paying off. But before I hang a cold zombie fish around my neck, maybe I should first think about why. I don't want to make the same mistake as I did with Tony. According to the field guide, water platypuses hatch their young in the mouths of living zebrafish. So far, so good. Of course. Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life with a couple of targeted electric shocks. All those hours under Dr. Gizmo's defibrillator are finally paying off. Ooh, 
What are you doing out there? Stop that right now. The generator is beginning to overload. The energy flow is off the scale. Space is already beginning to bend. Just a second. Come on, fish birds. Live. Live. <laughs> I did it. It's alive. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Whatever that was, it was extremely cool. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Otherwise, it won't enjoy its existence as a zombie. Hey. What's that twitching? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Hang on, Frankenfish. <laughs> Cute. But I should hurry. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace. Hey, what's that twitching? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Hang on, Frankenfish. <laughs> Cute. But I should hurry. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace. Rufus, what are you doing? Don't try to stop me. I have to save the life of a fish. It was a brief but fulfilling existence. You worthless idiot! Remove that monster from my aquarium immediately. Come to Papa. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> kind of cute. Water platypus seems to be no longer on the menu. You should always keep an open flame in your overcoat. According to the field guide, this is a fire platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! Oh, crap. Yeah! Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> A 
According to the field guide, this is a fire platypus egg. Cool, that's just what my collection was missing. Oh, darn it. The egg hopped into the pipe system completely by itself. I have to get it out of there somehow. Let's go, my duck build friend. There's a nest to guard. Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I did it! The menu at Shea Schlumpy is platypus-free. Took you long enough. Had to go looking for platypus eggs first, did you? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the very thought is absolutely hilarious. So will you let me reserve a table now? No. No! No! There's more to a date than fine food and a grand view, Rufus. No! As in, no? Yes! You also need to impress the lady with your manners. This is an Elysian we're talking about, right? I've got burns and blisters, two chillblains, and several platypus bites, and you say no? What about a poem? <sighs> got burns and blisters, that's no lie. You still want more? Don't make me cry. Not for me. For the lady! Nah, somehow I can't imagine that poem would please her. I can see it now. The sunset is magically reflected in the champagne, making the sparkles light up her tresses of gold. It's more like... Orangey? Schlumpy is serving dessert, and then I recite the poem. You mean I recite the poem? Y yes of course. You. Well... Are you well-versed in the lyrical arts? Sure! Well enough to tootle my own horn. No reason to worry. I happen to be a master poet. I just have to read through a few more volumes of poetry until I find the right verses. No, Dad! That'll take forever! Patience is the most prominent feature of a romantic, Rufus. No poem, no table. Got it? <laughs> He better think again. I've been listening to that doddering old fool long enough. I'm gonna solve this problem my own way, a la Rufus, with another truly brilliant move. I know which words I'll use to impress goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. Your hair is like flowers without the stalks. Uh, fallen angel, let's go for walks. Ah, oh, you'd better let Daddy do this. A junk dealer from Porto Fisco once met a nice girl in a disco. He said, you have class, but she said, I'll pass. She thought it too much of a risco. Ah, oh, you'd better let Daddy do this. Bad punzel, bad punzel. Uh, ringle wrangle runzel <clears throat> oh, You'd better let daddy do this I bet I can do this without your help. That's what you said back then when you were playing blind man's bluff It took you three days to find your way home and two years until you had paid off what you owed me from the bet Don't go away. I'll be back soon forget that line not even an eight-year-old would buy it
Knock, knock. Hmm, you again. You know quite a bit about poetry, don't you? I'd be a lousy poet if I didn't. Was that a yes or a no? Please don't tell me you need my help with a poem. I need your help with a poem. No. But it's for a lady, and, uh... Most importantly, it has to come from within you. Isn't it also important that it rhymes? You know, towards the end. Not necessarily. And the meter? What about that? No matter, as long as it comes from the heart. Just give it a try. Your hair is like flowers without the stalks. Uh, fallen angel, let's go for walks. Not bad at all. Mm, it rhymes. The message is clear and the metaphors work well. And it even contains a few romantic keywords. Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But th no! Go get her, tiger. Huh. I have the feeling he was only trying to get rid of me. Oh, Platypus, you are the best upon your breast. I'll gladly rest. Welcome again. Tell me more about these greeting cards. It's poetry. Platypus poetry. Grab a bus, Platypus. Yes, I will, Ducky Bill. Knock, knock. Hmm, you again. I still need your help with that poem. No, you don't. There's a poet lurking in all of us. Just give it a try. A junk dealer from Porto Fisco once met a nice girl in a disco. He said, you have class. But she said, I'll pass. She thought it too much of a risco. Not bad at all. It's amusing. <laughs> the meter works perfectly, and it's even a love story in the broadest sense. Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But th no! Go get her, tiger. Huh. I have the feeling he was only trying to get rid of me. I like your pretty face so well, and your sweet platypusy smell. Into your eyes I'm fondly gazing. You're not a platypus. Amazing! Your legs are short, your nose is flat. I must admit, I fancy that. I like your pretty face so well, and your sweet platypusy smell. Welcome again. So, uh, when you've got time, I'd, I'd really like you to recite some of your poetry. Well, buckle up then. Here comes the classic now. <clears throat> I am here. There are you, Platty Poo. Wow. I suddenly feel so... Inspired? Elated? Moved? Sick. Grab a bus, Platypus. Yes, I will, Ducky Bill. Knock, knock. Hmm, you again. I still need your help with that poem. No, you don't. There's a poet lurking in all of us. Just give it a try. Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. Say that again? Uh, here am I, there are you, Platypoo. You can't be serious. That is truly atrocious. The very worst I've ever heard. I wasn't going to admit it, but 
You really need my help. Will you give me lessons or something like that? Heavens, no! I know a lost cause when I see one. There is only one thing that can possibly aid you. It's the oldest trick in the poet's book. Drugs? <sighs> Ghost writing. That's what I meant. Here, take this bug. What on earth for? Stick it in your ear. But it's still wiggling. Don't be such a sissy. Stick it in your ear. Then I can whisper the right words to you during your date. Cool. Like a secret agent. Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I know which words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. I may not be good at waxing eloquent, but I've got this. What? Ear wax? A prompter. The poet will whisper the right words to me. That poor wretch who lives below me? <laughs> what could he possibly whisper to you? Must you really play the piano after midnight? Doesn't sound so romantic to me. But it doesn't matter. I found just the right poem. I'll do it my way. Oh, the kid wants to stand on his own two feet. Almost. As you like it. Why not? I am going to reserve that table. And you take this. What is it? It's the invitation for goal. According to all the rules of etiquette, when she reads this, she will most certainly show up for our date. My date, you mean? Uh, exactly. But first, let me give you a few more hints from father to son. Wow, that was pretty moving. He even let me borrow a suit. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. What just happened? Oh, I must have been unconscious. Oh, no wonder with the air in here. Forget about it. Once the fungal spores have settled into your lungs, you can breathe normally again. Huh? What have you got this time? Well, what do you think? This is an official invitation to a romantic dinner. Oh, really? Hmm. This invitation actually meets all the rules of etiquette. Bravo, Rufus. Apparently, I was completely wrong about you. Wait for me later in the old town, all right? I'm looking forward to being able to lay aside a few more prejudices against you and Eponia. Lay aside certainly sounds great. <laughs> oh, Rufus. Why didn't she show up? Huh. I might have guessed that Dad doesn't know the first thing about women. With his terrific tips, it's a miracle that I exist at all. Romance and flowers, my ass. I'm gonna let him have it. Dad? What's been going on here? Flowers? Champagne? That louse! If this is what it looks like, the old philanderer might as well ooh, start digging the grave for his burial at sea. Right. What's this? I need a radio. Why would the old fart need a radio? Unless... Whoa! I don't believe it! First he steals my date, and then my brilliant idea with the prompter. That miserable old dirtbag.
crane. Crane. What is it? I found something. One last. No. Little. Don't say it. Memo. I need a radio. Are you dictating these memos to him? Don't change the subject. Just give me the radio. Why do you have to do this anyway? I won't say. Do I have to get a memo that says I need secrets? Oh, stock market news. Oh, come on, Crane. That doesn't beat all. Stealing my date from right under my nose! Your own son! Uh, excuse me? Your Lucas's father? He seems to think that. But I'm not. That is totally... Oh, I took him in when I was still mayor of Kuna. We found him in the garbage, kicking and screaming. He's a trash baby. That isn't true! Examine your feelings, Rufus. I am not your father. Now you tell me? Have you no decency? Huh? Look who's talking. No, oh, you don't understand. This guy has... Has what? Standing? Style. A clean suit. You see, unlike you, the captain knows how to treat a lady. But you heard the lady. Do I really need to call an attendant and have you removed by force? Kicking and screaming, just like the trash baby that you are? I'll get you for this. Ooh, has the wind changed? Something smells a bit off. Just an insignificant little breeze. I... Uh, uh. All right, so I farted. But that doesn't make him better than me. I am so gonna rain on his parade. I will teach him a lesson so tough that it was dropped from the curriculum of the School of Hard Knocks. about poetry, right? Sure thing. One of my platypus poems even made it to page three of the platypus daily. I see I've come to the right place. Here. Watch this. Radio? Oh, yeah. You'll need it. It's uh, a romantic man. Platypus romance or human romance? It's starting. I have prepared something very special for you. The icing on the cake. A poem in your honor. <clears throat> Go ahead. That was your cue. Oh, oh I've got just the thing. Give it your all. You are cuter than a cat. You look just like a... Hey! What the... Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. It was very... noble of you to try and warn me about him. Thank you. <laughs> I owe you an apology, Rufus. Your foster father may act all sophisticated, but in reality... He is nothing but a subilluminated cerebral pygmy. Yeah, just without the stripes. Now all I have to do is persuade your two other aspects. I'm sure you will find a way. And I should know. The others are a part of me, after all. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You are a lot like Cletus, but you have a real backbone. And you are such a sissy. That's true. Uh, but don't tell him I said that. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it?
May I bother you? Not really. Then I'll have to do it without your consent. Didn't we meet in front of Doc's workshop? Uh, you must be mistaken. No, no. You and your beefy chum, you were gonna take something from me. What was it you were yelling? Death to the Organon? Death to the Organon! Uh, I mean, um, <laughs> death to the Organon! <laughs> Whoever would say such a thing? Not that it isn't a good slogan. I mean, someone must have put a lot of thought into that. You're part of a resistance movement, or so I've heard. Who said that? That's top secret information. Sorry, didn't know that. And the others don't seem to be clear on the concept either. Um, please tell them. We can't have everyone broadcasting my secrets. What are you rebelling against? Against our oppression by the Organon. What else? Death to the Organon! What has the Organon ever done to you? Well, it, it oppresses me with its constant oppression. It makes me furious. May I join you? Impossible. You could be an Organon spy. But how are you going to fight the Organon if you don't recruit new members? <laughs> Through passive resistance. Meaning you do nothing? But we do. We constantly hatch new plans about how we can resist even more passively. Sometimes we even don't say a bad word about the Organon for weeks. That's how passive we are. Wow. The Prime Controller is going to blow a fuse when he finds out. Please let me join you. I want to impress a woman. You think that would work? Of course. Women go for courageous men. Men who have the courage to use a filthy bathroom in a pub. Yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking of the kind of courage you need to join a good cause. Hey, but I'm already doing that. Here, take this bathroom key to Gulliver. I no longer need it. Why are you sitting here on your lonesome? I'm waiting for a worthy opponent to play rock, paper, scissors. Why do you think you might find one here? Because people around here tend to give you the finger. Ha <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So you're a professional rock, paper, scissors player? Yeah, I'm an expert, a professional gamer, a prestidigitator. Scissors is my forte. I've been training it for years and I can do it in my sleep. But my rock really rocks too. <laughs> Once in a while, I'm still a bit hesitant to make full use of my paper. But my coach says that I can compensate for this weakness through speed and stamina. I want to play. Ah, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Well, the last time I looked, they were at the lower end of my arm. Let me have a look. Yep, yep, here they are. Ha ha ha. Nice try, buddy. Why? What's, what's wrong with them? Those aren't official tournament fingers. They might be loaded. Come back when you have an official tournament hand. I'll be off then. See you around. Everything okay, kid? Uh, I've been in worse tavern bathrooms. It's just, uh, I heard these noises, and let's just say the toilet paper could be softer. You don't have to play the tough guy for me, kid. I've been in there before, and I know the toilet paper. I feel your pain. By the way, you got a piece stuck to your foot, and you should remove it before someone sees. They would, uh, they wouldn't understand. May I touch? At least it seems to be written in braille. Although the writing is a little smeared, but it isn't a prescription. 
Darn, I was so sure this time. Wait a minute, this is one of my coupons. Where did you find it? <laughs> he was under his nose the whole time. With this, you get a free sample of my latest shipment, Cucumis Agnito, the cucumber of revelation. It's so new that there aren't any studies on medium or long-term after effects. Cool. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shuffleman 2000. How may I help you? What kind of things do you sell here? At Gilligan's Gadget Garden, we offer the most amazing equipment in all of Deponia. Go ahead and browse at your leisure. You are welcome to try out a few gadgets. But please remember to put back the merchandise before you leave the shop. But of course, what do you take me for? My CPU has calculated an 86% probability of an imminent attempt at shoplifting. What? Now, now that's outrageous. Based on what? Based on several factors. The way you are dressed, for example. Are you a robot? The gadgeteer constructed me so I could help him run the shop. Smart move. Where is he now? This information is irrelevant. I am completely autonomous. I see. I wonder what became of the gadgeteer. We have no idea. We have been looking for him for months. We? Yes, we are very worried about him, his wife, and I. So, the gadgeteer is Mary? Yes, Camilla is a wonderful lady. I am with her every day, lending her support. These must be hard times for her. She should not grieve for a husband who left her in the lurch. She should just look ahead. People are so unreliable, aren't they? That is what I have been telling Camilla for months. By now she thinks I am right. Robots are so much more reliable, she says. Why is the pedestal over there empty? It is not empty. What you cannot see there is the golden dragon of invisibility, the most powerful gadget on Deponia. Golden Dragon of Invisibility? It may be hard to believe, but it is really there. A beautiful object, lavishly ornamented, and its powers are beyond imagination. But touching it is absolutely prohibited. I think I can only just hold myself back. Very much appreciated. I'll just be on my way then. Please come again soon. Goes nothing. An excellent choice, sir. Please do not forget to return the merchandise to its proper place before leaving the store. Oh, cucumber of revelation, reveal your wisdom to me. Indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. Huh. 
<laughs> I see. Ingenious. I just have to convince this tin can to wear the glasses, and then, um, whatever, something really clever. I am very sorry, sir. The destruction of sample items is not permitted. I'm not doing that, because according to the label, these sunglasses are indestructible. That is correct. Well then. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. Stop acting cute. The glasses are broken. Excuse me. Where are you? I cannot see you at all. This indestructible high-end gadget is obstructing my view. What an overwhelming experience. Hello? Hello? Gah, that thing sure has some nerve. Uh -huh. Did you clear your throat? But you can't see what I'm doing. Or are the sunglasses broken? Certainly not. The sunglasses function perfectly. Heh <laughs> super. Dang it. Now that I have removed this fully functional item, may I politely inquire what you are doing over there? Well, I'm, I'm just uh, admiring your, your golden dragon of invisibility. It's really pretty. I hate you. <laughs> it works! I'm invisible! <laughs> woo! Woo 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 woo! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I sure fooled him. Excuse me? Hmm? What do you want? I think an apology would be in order. What for? Like, for attacking me in the street? Listen up, kiddo. I'm a member of unorganized crime. And how does that give you the right to assault innocent passers-by in broad daylight? That's the way we roll. Cool. So, uh, unorganized crime. What is it exactly? We're just like a criminal organization without the organized bits. C could I join you, maybe? I'm incredibly unorganized. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? I'm a gifted tinkerer. Really? So what do you tinker? Power inverters, escape machines, a life of order and contentment. Eh, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. I am so incredibly cool. Just how cool? I'm so, like, laid back that the back of my head, like, is almost touching the ground. Yeah. Eh, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. I certainly am reckless enough. I know you're not. But how can I prove to you that I'm reckless enough? <laughs> You'd have to do something truly reckless, like shave Donna's cat, for instance. If that's all. Uh, that wasn't a serious suggestion. Nobody in his right mind would ever do something that reckless. Hey, I'm not nobody in his right... Mm, I, uh, hmm. Don't try to stop me. I'll soon be part of your organization. You'll see. Ah, beat it. 
So, what does the Organon think of your organization? This is the floating black market, kiddo. We don't care what the Organon thinks. So, what about that Organon official right behind you? What? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Say, where's your pal? Wink, he's got in our secret hideout. Even though he's not really qualified, blind as a bat in his right eye. And the right eye is the important one, after all. Huh? Who says that? My mama. Why? Hey, do you also like to play rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Unfortunately, I left my tournament fingers in the hideout today. I'll get back to you. Whatever. Go, go, Rufus rubber arm! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that always worked before. Oh, no, I can't while someone's watching. <laughs> well, looky here. If that isn't a radio station, what have we here? Slides of some sort. Probably the plans of unorganized crime. Let's see what those clowns are up to. Wait a minute. Nothing but scribbles. Somebody smeared finger paint on this. But that's... Hello? Wink, please come in. Uh-oh. There's a radio message coming in. Wink, answer me. Wait a minute. I know that voice. I bet it's Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station. Wink, are you going to pick up or not? This is Cletus. I mean, it must be Cletus. Of course, Gold's fiancé. Well, ex-fiancé, actually. He appears to have survived the crash of the escape pod. But what has he got to do with unorganized crime? I better answer this. I'm great at imitating voices. He'll never catch on. Hello, Cletus? Wink, is that you? Why are you talking so funny? I'm not talking funny. I sound exactly like Wink. A phonetically trained ear would hear that right away. Stop blabbering nonsense and get to the point. You know good and well that time is running out. Tell me, have you been able to track down my fiancé? Ex-fiancé, you mean? I mean goal, my fiancé. Wait, I've got the picture you wanted. You can print it as a slide. And here's a picture of the cartridge that holds the ascension codes. Ascension codes? Uh -huh. That nincompoop is tough. He's not giving up. Excuse me? My income group's not enough for living it up. Well, that should be the least of your worries right now. Do you need any more materials? Where are you, anyway? Why do you want to know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Why, I wonder. <laughs> Because of the handover later? My answer would have been more plausible, but yes, exactly. I'm in an Organon blast tower directly on the cruiser route to Porta Fisco. You'll find the coordinates on the next slide. But let me know in advance when you're going to show up here, or the Organon will see to it that your submersible never sees the surface again. Do you get that? Why do you need those ascension codes again? But I already told you! Yes, but your pronunciation leaves a lot to be desired. Ugh. I'll explain it to you just one more time. Ugh. The last high boat will be leaving Deponia from Porta Fisco in a week. So if I don't have the ascension codes by tomorrow, I won't be able to get back to Elysium in time! Now that would be a disaster. You said it. Actually, I shouldn't be telling you any of this, but I'm doing so anyway, because I know about the importance of motivating underlings. 
For reasons that are really none of your business, I must tell the Council of Elders in Elysium that Deponia is uninhabited. An awful lot depends on that. Everything else is insignificant. <laughs> right. Ulysses, the Organon's prime controller, takes no risks. If my report doesn't reach Elysium in time, he will see to it that Deponia is indeed uninhabited. Say what? I mean, uh, <clears throat> what did you say? The Organon has the means to turn the entire area around the Rust Red Sea into a desert. If I haven't got my hands on the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, they will drop a bomb from this blast tower. As a result, all life on Deponia would probably be extinguished. This slide provides the proof. But then you would be dead too. Oh, bravo. You're beginning to see why it's so important to me to get gold back. I hope you'll be sufficiently motivated now to find her. Cletus, out. Uh, just, just a moment. I, uh, uh, oh, blast it. What do I do now? If Cletus doesn't get the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, then all life on Deponia will be eradicated. But if he does get them, all of Deponia will be destroyed. I have to beat him to it somehow. Looks like it all depends on how fast I can bring Goal around. In other words, on my charm. <laughs> it can't be so hard, then. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving the house back of a criminal syndicate would be really extreme. So extreme that they would be guaranteed to make me an honorary member. Well then, let's do it. Huh? What's this? This is stuff. Then where's the real kid? Ah oh, well, who cares? Uh-oh. really isn't gonna like that. We'll see. Boss! Boss! Here comes the boss. How's my hair? <laughs> what a question. Perfect as always. What? Who? What's all this about? I mean, where's the boss? Somewhere behind this mad woman? <laughs> I caught an intruder. Oops! Aw, oh, poor kitty. Good kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. This little dipshit shaved kitty. What do you want us to do with him? My thoughts exactly. But she's only twitching. Th this lady suffers from ticks. <laughs> well done. Now you really ticked her off. So, any last words? W what did she say? Isn't that obvious? That I'm being pardoned? <laughs> what? I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> Got me there. What are your plans for me, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> right. Will you please tell me now what that winking means? <laughs> yes. That I'll be made into shark food? <laughs> Bravo! You guessed it! Yippee! Oh. Go ahead! A quick and painful death is better than having to endure this farce any longer! <laughs> Donna says no. What? I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> now you have me confused. Are you being serious or not? <laughs> <laughs> huh, she nodded. Did you see that? Yeah, but I can hardly believe it. Apparently, that means that you are now one of us. Congratulations, uh... Rufus. Rufus, right. There's not many that make it, too, so far. How did that happen? Hey, Donna, any jobs for me? <laughs> well, I'm afraid it'll have to wait. I have my own mission. Oh, 
Finally, my own tournament hand. Yo ho, yo ho, unorganized criminals, yo ho. May I bother you again? Aren't you gonna do that anyway? <laughs> Got a point there. I wanna play. Yeah, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Yeah, those are actually real tournament fingers. And they're not loaded. So, let's get started. What's the stake, anyway? The winner gets to pick two fingers from the loser's hand. What? We play for fingers. What else? First person who has no fingers left to surrender after a lost round loses the game. I'm ready. Well then, lift your hand. One, two, three. Wait, what is this? Those are loaded. Any attempt to cheat counts as a lost round, so you need to surrender two fingers. What? So what did you think this was about? Get on with it. Put your hand on the table. You didn't stand a chance. I told you so. Want to play again? Wait, what is this? Those are loaded. Any attempt to cheat counts as a lost round, so you need to surrender two fingers. What's that? Rock! You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. What the? You win. Even though these are my lucky fingers. Oh well. It ain't over as long as I have some fingers left. There. You won't pull that one again. You ready for the showdown? What's that? Rock! You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. What's that? Rock! You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. Impossible. You... You beat me! <laughs> Don't mess with Rufus! That's what I keep saying! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Looks like I underestimated you. Well, be that as it may, I'm an honest player. And I keep my word. This is our secret knock. Can you remember that? Yeah, I'm not so sure. Can I hear it again? But you mustn't tell anybody else. <laughs> Nobody but gold. What was that? I need some alcohol now. Ah, me too. As long as you didn't have any direct skin contact with the bar, that is. <laughs> You're funny. Hmm? Oh, it's you! How nice! It is done. We are resistance fighters. Really? Sure. I even know the secret now. Wow. Then what are we waiting for? We have to go to Janosch and get our instructions. Last one, there's a rotten egg! But no, no, hey, hey, stop! Oh, rats.
de de da de 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 da ru le fou ru ru le fou ru le fou super super de fou <laughs> hey, you can say what you like about those black market bumps, but they have good taste in music. No, wait. That isn't the secret knock. Uh, I know. I just got it a little mixed up. The knock goes. Wrong again. Beat it. It's just because of that snappy groove they play in the marketplace. Hmm, that could be right. <laughs> Finally. But I'm not sure. I can never remember the new knock. Could you knock the old one again, just to be sure? But. That's pure harassment. If you're one of us, then you ought to know it. And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. Weren't you gonna knock? No, wait. Wrong again. Too bad. Better luck next time. Ow! Oh, I can't believe this. What about it? No, wait. Wrong again. Too bad. Better luck next time. Ow! Oh. I can't believe this. Weren't you gonna knock? <laughs> hey, that's enough. I'm coming out now. I don't see the humor in knock-knock jokes. Huh? There's nobody here. So it wasn't a knock-knock joke after all. That isn't the new knock, Liebold. Yeah, I forgot it again. Can I just use the old one? Oh, yes, okay. But only because it's you. Now I've got it. Hey, that was right. Of course it was. Well then, what are you waiting for? Come on in. The door's open. The door is what? Ah, another new recruit. At last, our course is getting the attention it deserves and a smattering of respect. Say what? What are you getting at? Attention. And? A smattering of respect. <laughs> hmm. Just listen to you kikul. <laughs> stop it. No, wait. Don't stop. How can I stop if you never tell me what it is that you find so exceedingly humorous? <laughs> Bravo. Awesome. But <laughs> Seriously, what place is this? Some kind of circus? Because... You know, I'm really looking for the hideout of the Resistance, not a carnival. You have come to the right place. True. Carnival was last week. <laughs> greetings, recruit. What's up? <laughs> the word is greetings with an S. That's what I said. Greetings with an S. <laughs> You call yourselves a resistance, Sal? You look like a bunch of total losers to me. That may be your first impression, but the truth is, we're a fanchism bunch. That is? Would you new friend like a glass of orange juice? No thanks, Mom. Get over you again. Huh, you guys being venturesome? Well, at least we have a concept. So, what's your concept? They're sitting here discussing, snacking on ships, and questioning about the unfairness of being oppressed by the Organon. <laughs> and what exactly are you hoping to move that way? Move? Who said anything about moving? Well, isn't that sort of implied by the term underground movement? Oh, that, yes. Well, of course we are moving, as well. <laughs> I wasn't talking about circling the sun and drifting away from the other tectonic plates. Oh. Your concept is crap. For crying out loud, you can't even pronounce the word concept properly. If you have a better 
Tom Shift, then let us know. I have come to pick up Gore. Impossible. She must assist me with essential tactics. <laughs> she must what? Assist? Shay, are you shitting on your ears? Goal is in urgent need of surgery. In the resistance, one has to make sacrifices. What if she suffers permanent brain damage? Then she will have suffered brain damage before she could coach. I've got a concept. A what? A concept. As in plan. Ah, a concept. For a second, I thought you said concept. But if you mean a concept, I'm very interested. Just insert your slidish into the projector. Don't tell me those are cardboard swords. What else? We are party fish. Gesundheit. I've got to go. Is your facilities are upstairs by the front door. FIFA La Revolution. About. I'm taking matters into my own hands now. You want to stop the Organon? I'm all for it. But you're going to need the right leader. Someone who's got courage and charisma. Shake, shake. With clear elocution. Shake. In short, someone who can go up against the Organon all by himself if need be. <gasps> Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station is charismatic enough. I was talking about myself, you dodos. Don't make me laugh. What could possibly qualify you for that kind of responsibility? What do you think? I've got a concept. Yes, oh yes, a slideshow. I bet this is going to be so exciting. Watch and learn. Oh, what is that? A spot? Impossible to recognize anything. A symbol. A shimbo? How mysterious. The concept sounds pretty exciting already. Positively mystic, with just a hint of legend. Shut up, Lebo. And what does it symbolize? It shows what will become of us if we don't act right away. Wow, this is shocking. You're a pretty glib talker. But do you have any proof for your claim? I most certainly do. Here. What's that? An Organon bombing fort. The Dark Exchequer has distributed these towers around the planet. I find that disturbing. I'm scared. We don't quite understand. Why would the Organon build towers like that? What's the purpose of those bases? Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. What? But are you really sure? Of course. It's true. The order comes from the Elysian Council of Elders. They have no idea that Deponia is inhabited. Inconceivable. But what are we going to do about it? Our team will dare to attack. Attack the Organon? Are you out of your mind? We don't even know where to strike. Yes, we do! I obtained topographical data locating one particular Organon fort. Wow. He seems to be really well prepared. I thought there were hundreds of blast towers. Why should we tackle this particular one? Our enemy might detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. That's horrible. Rufus is right. We must prevent it at all costs. But what comes next? What about all the other blast towers? Goal and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. So far, I understand it all. 
Can you give us a brief summary? I will do that. Uh, no, no, you don't have to do that, Janosch. I, I, I can do it myself. No, no, I will summarize this. Uh-oh. All right, whatever happens, don't laugh, Rufus. Show the first slide again, will you? Exactly. W what was that exactly? An Organon bombing fort. Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. Our team will dare to attack. So far, so good. And what is this? You obtain topographical data, locating one particular Organon fort. Our enemy might detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. Almost done. Goal and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. Bravo. That's all very well, but how does it help us? An Elysian inspector named Cletus is currently here on Deponia. Goal accompanied him. That's why she's here in the first place. Her codes serve to activate the last high boat in Port of Fisco that is supposed to take her back to Elysium. We have to let Elysium know that Deponia is actually inhabited. Therefore, I will take Goal to Elysium. But of course, you could try to sway the Council of Elders. Once they learn that Deponia is inhabited, they'll cancel the blast. But why should you of all people go to Elysium? Because I'm the spitting image of the Inspector. <laughs> That's highly unlikely. But it's true. Rufus and Cletus could be twins. What a strange coincidence. And it gets even better. Argus's cruiser has docked at the blast tower I indicated. Its mission is to take Cletus and Goal to the high boat in Porta Fisco. During the attack, Goal and I can make use of the ensuing chaos to overwhelm Cletus. And then I will take his place. What do you say? Are you with me? That sounds very risky. But it's our only chance. Any more questions? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Long live Rufus, our spearhead! Yay! That was so cool! You made Yamash look like a little idiot! <laughs> well, how else would he look compared to somebody my size? Now all I have to do is persuade your last alter ego. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You were a lot like Cletus, but you lack his moody, spiteful side. That's true. Just thinking of that idiot really gets my dander up. And you're so clueless and bumbling, which makes you very attractive to women. Thanks. <laughs> I think. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? So let me Thank you. 
Ouch! Oh! Ha! Oh! Nothing happened. <laughs> Ooh, despite my mighty strength, I'm not gonna get anywhere without tools. The flap is screwed down. Why don't you play something else for a change? Here. The mating song of the junk craft. Magnifico! Finalmente! Una canzone molto romantica! As long as there is no junk craft nearby, it's not pericoloso, eh? Mille grazie! Stronzo! Is you mad? Make me a poop with my new sack of the area. Now I must go to the doctor to get a replacement. <laughs> that was funny. You're not gonna give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. <sighs> you drink two out of all salesmen. When will you ever learn? If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should never, ever. You will get. Come on in. Come on. You've got some nerve showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Do you hear the noise, dear? I'm getting a noise here. A chakra settled in a clock, the racket about as if to mock. The noise is fast bearing, if I am not erring. A chakra in the chronograph, I'm having a laugh. Ah, not again! How am I supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that? You know, uh, I find it quite romantic. Out! Now! Ha! Gotcha! Well, little guys, do you like your new home? Ow! Ah, stop that!
Run! You're free! But don't get lost. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're not gonna give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. Break it, Girl Scouts! You will regret your persistence as soon as I find out why my spring gun won't. You again! Come on in! Come on! You got some nerve! Showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... The knife, dear, I got thing in my ear. A chakram settled in our clock The racket about as if to mock The noises are sparing If I am not erring A chakram in the chronograph I'm having a laugh I'm shaken, awaken, if I'm not mistaken. A chakra nesting in a clock, they racket about in the tickety tock. All doubts excluded if I'm not deluded. A prince of architectures rummage our chronometer. It's late and I'm tired if I'm not ill-wired. Junk that caused the dreadful noise in our time measurement device. What's that now? You're kidding. The trumpets and fiddling. What the crap? I'm going to snap in ice and risk of skidding. How can I sleep with junk wraps near the ear while to my sorrow? I fear, my dear, we have to exile that in tomorrow. Ah, not again! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hmm. What a sight! Go ahead, Bozo! Say it! Whoa, now comes the interesting bit. <clears throat> Why, a no doubt. Come here often. Oh, Bozo. Wow, six words that open the gate to a whole new world.
to her. Everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. I'll have the same again. Why, hello, doll. Come here often? <coughs> what did you say? <coughs> Why, hello, doll. Come here often? Is that supposed to be funny? I... but... First, you drag me off, and then you try to be cute? Why hasn't it occurred to you that I might be well and truly pissed off? Uh, well, why? Hello, doll. Come here often. <laughs> Whoa! No brawling in my bar. This may be the favorite hangout of the lowest scum in town, but some rules still apply, you know. He started it. I haven't done a thing. Yeah, he's got a point. Running around like an idiot ain't a crime. Hey! But maybe being an idiot is. I said, hey! You're lucky I don't hit women. Go ahead and try. Maybe I'll start by giving you a good spanking. If you fancy a broken jaw, be my guest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here in the floating black market, we settle our differences in a civilized manner. There is only one way to get you two to quit your bickering. Platypus Bataka. Bring it on! doesn't mean a thing. I let her win on purpose. On the other hand, it might not be a bad idea to train my infamous Rufus reflexes. What an ugly training dummy. I will beat it up with great pleasure. It's not that I really need any training. All right, I'll give it a try just this once. <laughs> I meant to do that. I wanted to let him win too. Just this one. That put him in his place. Now this must have permanently improved my reflexes. Actually, I'm perfect without further training. And on the other hand, it probably can't hurt. Getting better all the time. Better and better. Getting better all the time. Better and better. Hey. <laughs> 
I'm getting better all the time. Better and better. Bring it on! Fun. Maybe you're not the little idiot I took you for after all. That's because people tend to overlook my true greatness. So, what shall we get ourselves into next? Oh, well, since you seem to be at one with yourself once again, I suppose we could go ahead with the surgery. Hmm, I regret that in a way. I feel oddly liberated without my snooty and my gullible traits. Ah, I could get used to the thought of dating three goals. Rufus! What? It's just that I like every aspect of you, baby. Yeah, I bet. We had better get started. This is getting crazier by the minute. I'm going to take the cartridges to Doc's lab now. Meet me there, all right? She's into me! What's going on here? Janosch? I must listen and find out what is going on in there. Why? What is it that's going on in there? I mean, and what are you doing here anyway? We are putting your concept into practice. What do you think? My concept? Yes, you were completely right, of course. You cannot start a revolution by just shitting around doing nothing. Therefore, we are going to actively snatch the cartridges. Whoa, wait a minute. Those cartridges contain the mind of my girlfriend. Girlfriend? In your dreams, first off, go list a functionary of the resistance. So, of course she's going to sacrifice herself for the good cause. Sacrifice? Are you totally out of your mind? Unfortunately, another organization has become aware of the Ascensions Codex, or could I say, an organization. What? Do you mean Donna? Precisely. The unorganized crane has held up in Doc's lab. They took Doc and Girl hostage and are trying to extort free passage. But the revolution doesn't take kindly to extortion. As soon as the clock strikes the full hour, we will system the premises. Actually, Dar left us disturbing. Liebold and I will hold this position. What? But that's completely insane. Um, so it is. I know these people. They'll stop at 
nothing. You're just gonna get yourselves killed. Or me, as it is. Judge easy fatal for freedom fighter. Always ready to die for the good cause. Please, don't act just yet. Maybe I can think of something. What will you do? What else? I'm going in there now. But the place is crawling with unorganized criminals. I can handle them. Hey, open up. It's me, Rufus. Yes? Uh, yoo-hoo. Can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon. But first, you have to do something for me. Here. What's this? Another remote? Yes. It's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Janosch. What was that? Huh. I wonder what all these buttons do. Ah, I'll just push the biggest one. And zap! Oh, look at me. I completed an important mission. Yeah, any monkey could have done that. This sucks. What the? There you are at last. What took you so long? Just because you're from the past doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures. And this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him Rufus. Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. Not anymore. I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? But I look much younger than you do. What? You rotten baby face. Oh, I would love to give you the spanking you deserve, but I guess I can't because I'm already too senile for that. <laughs> Man, you're such a wimp. There's no way you can be me from the future. I only said that in order to prevent a time paradox. Anybody could say that. You just don't know the first thing about time travel. Yes, I do. No, you don't. But I'm not as ugly as you are. Not true. Not true. You're even uglier than me. So there. Ha! You just gave yourself away. I know I would have thought of a much cooler reply. I actually did. I only said that in order to prevent a time paradox. Oh, yeah. Right. You just don't know the first thing about time travel. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Future self. What a load of bull. You don't get it, do you? Was I really that dense back then? You might as well give up, Cletus. I'm not Cletus. I come from the future, you, you absolute model. You're calling me an absolute model? Yup, because that's what you are, a stupid, retarded, absolute model. Huh, I want proof. All right, anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you, exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait. I remember now. You're thinking of Zeebel Zoobel. Ha! Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeebel Zoobel. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, yeah right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeebel Zoobel? Well, actually, it was... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> future me, old pal, there you are. How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. 
Meanwhile, I'm gonna take care of the rebels. Whoa, is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free Goal, remember? But why don't you go rescue Goal and I take care of the rebels? Hmm. Oh, can we fast forward this bit? Just, just trust me. You already did it earlier. So if you had done it right away, it would already have happened again over there. Oh, uh, yeah. It's totally logical. I grasped it the first time. Oh, yeah? Sure, me too. Yeah, you know what? Why don't you simply do it yourself? Because I need to hold the fort here. And why can't I hold the fort? Because I got the gun. But I want the gun. We can't do that. When I was you, I also didn't get the gun until later. We need to do everything just the same way as before. I don't care, I want the gun! Why won't you get it? If I let you have the gun now, it would alter the timeline. I would dissolve, and we would have to start over from the beginning. Oh, well, I'll go rescue Gold then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm gonna dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sport. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure! Him <clears throat> through the portal. Yeah, okay. And hurry, the clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Oh. Mm. Mm. Doc! Goal! You're alive! What's going on? Rufus, what are you doing? Uh, just chilling. Killing? Bite out his eyes! That might not be necessary this time, boss. It's Rufus. He's one of us. What were you doing in Doc's asbestos camp then? I, uh, uh, needed some asbestos and uh, accidentally got myself locked up. Really? You gotta be careful. I lost two ants that way. But I'm glad you're here. We're trapped here. Some weird extremists are after our ascension codes. Your ascension codes? We were just about to add them to our corporate inventory. That's why we have this crowbar. If they don't leave soon, we'll be forced to shoot our way out. Shoot them all! Tabula Raza! Wait! I've got a plan. Get on with it then. Wink's trigger finger is getting all itchy. Blasted nickel allergy. May I? Oh. Mm. Super. Two more remotes. Great. That should get things moving. Let's see. There's a label on the bottom of one. Hey, it says Donna. Oh, wow. So Donna has a brain implant, too. That should be useful. And on the other... Ha! Huh, well, hello. This is the remote that future Rufus gave me earlier. The one that belongs to Liebold. Obviously, I have a plan. I just don't know what it is yet. Rats. It didn't work. That must be because there was no cartridge in the remote. Hey, Donna! Shh! Donna needs to think. What for? So far, she's done okay without. What was that? I'm starving for a cheese flan for crying out. Yeah, me too. But for now, we'll have to stay in here. Even if it means that we'll starve to death. got to get us out of here. I'm working on it. Work faster then. After all, you're the one who got me into this mess. <sighs> so you're Lady Goal. And you are about to become Lady Rufus if you don't hurry up. What happened exactly? They were just suddenly there. Doc tried to defend me, almost like a real gentleman. A completely futile attempt. There were three of them. They were armed. Are you all right? Of course. We're having a picnic here. Really? With pancakes? That was sarcasm. Ah, yet I know. No pancakes there. I found 
found this remote. I think it belongs to Donna. What are you getting at? Well, if you would let me remove your cartridge for just a moment. Don't you dare! Wow. Doc keeps a bottle of champagne in his office. What? Where? Sorry, Goal. You'll thank me for this later. Hey, what are you doing? Nice body. Although the eye patch might impede my aim. Don't! No, it's fine, actually. Was that necessary? Did you have a better idea? Yes! Too late. Oh, well. One less worry, at least. Now all we have to do is subdue the rebels. All we need is a new... Don't say it. Plan. Oh. I can feel a flash of inspiration ambling in my general direction. Particles of ingenuity are wafting through the air. Hmm. Use vacuum cleaner engine with bubble gum? Perhaps later. Does it always have to be a complicated plan? I thought that's what you like about me. You seem to confuse me with Spunky Gold. Spunky Gold, but of course. I've got Leibold's remote, right? Everything is slowly falling into place. My past self is going to insert Spunky Gold in Leibold. She will then subdue Yanosh while I take care of Garla. And voila, we're out of here. Past self? What are you talking about? Can't we just leave the same way you came in here? No, we can't. Because of the, the temporal coherence and the, and the spatial thingamy and, and, and so forth. It's complicated. Isn't it always? Uh, I'll explain it to you later. Now, we need to find Spunky Gold's cartridge. Here, might as well take this one. Hey, awesome! You're not half bad. Only one third, actually. Just trust me. You go free the others. I'll take care of the rebels. But first, I'm going to grab a gun. And I get Donna's remote. If it makes you happy. Oh, man. This is going to be so totally epic. <laughs> Finally, I've got a gun, too. <laughs> and who's the better man now, huh? Stupid future Rufus. Oops! <laughs> What's going on here? You again? Yeah, who else? Do you happen to know if that is our future? Our future? Rufus, I hate to tell you this, but we have no future. Oh, is that so? Just watch me. I'll see to it that we have one. No future. <laughs> that was scary. I hope the punchline is yet to come. Hey, open up. It's me, Rufus. Uh-oh, that must be me from the past. I should open up. Otherwise, I'll screw up causality. Yes? Uh, yoo-hoo, can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon. But first, you have to do something for me. Here. What's this? Another remote? Yes, it's Leibold. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, of course you do. Leibold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Yanosh. Whew, good thing I have a perfect memory. One little mistake, and I'd have an invalid timeline. But what happens next? Hmm... Huh. One shouldn't live in the past anyway. Well then, let's do it. Cool. Now what? There you are at last. 
What took you so long? Just because you're from the past doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures, and this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. Not anymore. I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? Huh. I want proof. All right. Anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you, exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of... Zeeble Zooble. Ha! Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeeble Zooble. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, yeah, right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeeble Zooble? Well, actually, it was... <laughs> hey, <laughs> future me, old pal, there you are. How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, yo, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take care of the rebels. Whoa. Is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free Gold, remember? Oh, well, I'll go rescue Gold then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm gonna dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Be like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoiled sport, but afterwards I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure. Him <clears throat> through the portal. Yeah, okay. And hurry, the clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. All right. What a hero! I'm gonna be someone. Yeah, what a moron. Who does he think he is? But now back to the mission at hand. The clock could strike the hour at any moment now, and then I'll be ready. <laughs> All I need now is a little patience, and nobody beats me at that. Patience. Now, that's enough. Strike, will ya? Oh, come on, strike! <laughs> and right on the spot. But usually it's only about who fetches a fresh bag of chips. One for all. And today, the one is you. Rufus, what are you doing here? There's been a change of plan. Gold is going to hang on to the Ascension Codes. Turning against the Resistance. Whose side are you on then? Always on the winning side. It will sometimes. What the... It's jam? Ah, tough luck. Or not. Rufus? Haha, <laughs> very good. You made it on your own. Come with me. It's not over yet. Uh, wait a second. But, Goal, we haven't got time now for for that kind of thing. I mean, shouldn't we wait until you're, you know, back in shape? Oh, well, why not? You know, you really need to shave. <laughs> Let's go. I did it! See? I told you I could!
Doc, why are you still trussed up? Lady Gore was supposed to untie you. But she didn't. She escaped to the future through the portal. She did what? Uh, uh, no problem. Spunky Gore is still outside in Lee Bold's body. She'll make Lady Gore see reason. That wasn't Spunky Gore. That was a cleaning cartridge for my video recorder. The other two goals are still in the machine. Lee Bold doesn't even have an implant. But, but, but the remote! That means I just... Rufus! What have you done to Gorleth and to Liebold? He seems to be quite distressed. Uh, a case of mistaken identity? I... Hey! Goal! What's this all about? I am sorry, Rufus. I just have to make one more change to your plan, I'm afraid. What? Huh? Change my plan? Yes. Once again. It's complicated, just like everything that involves you. You cause nothing but chaos. But I'm not made for that. I can no longer stay with you. Oh, come on. What brought this on? Open up! Don't even try. The door is bolted. I need a little head start if I want to find Cletus. Cletus? But what are you talking about? We were going to go to Elysium together, save the world and all that. It just doesn't work that way, Rufus. You can't let everybody down and still be the hero. That's impossible. Hey, impossible is my middle name. You said it. It appeals to you, doesn't it? You always want what's impossible, and therefore you will never be content. You can't come to Elysium, Rufus, because you carry Deponia within you. Farewell, trash baby. But wait a sec! But Cletus is a snotty jerk! Cletus is not a bad person, Rufus. At least no worse than I am, and certainly no worse than you. I'm a thousand times better than that pretty boy. At least you would like to be. I forgave you for splitting my mind, for lying to me, for repeatedly putting me in harm's way, and I forgave Cletus for trying to erase my memory. Now you need to forgive me. But what about your surgery? We need to put you back together again. What for? So I will be flooded with doubt again? No thanks, Rufus. But we were going to save the world together! That may be true for Spunky Goal and Baby Goal, but I am neither as idealistic nor as adventurous as they are. I just want to go home before it's too late. But I want to go to Elysium with you! Do you really want to do that? I know you've got something to prove. Because you grew up in the garbage. Because nobody ever believed in you. But would you really be happy if you achieved your goal? No more adventures? No more plans? I don't think so. But where's the problem? Why can't we save Deponia and still go to Elysium together? Because it is mutually exclusive, Rufus. But it isn't. I know I can do it. This is about what you don't know. Have you ever asked yourself why they want to blow up Deponia? What's that got to do with anything? Everything, really. Elysium isn't the paradise you think it is. It is just a vessel, a starship, designed to leave Deponia once and for all, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But Utopia is far away. And there is only one possibility of generating enough energy to catapult Elysium there, the destruction of Deponia. What was that? Elysium is... what? A... a starship? Now do you finally understand? If Deponia is not blown up, then Elysium will soon fall back to the planet. We cannot live forever without a home planet. But Deponia is no place to live. We both know that. So, Elysium is a starship? You've got it! Our fathers constructed Elysium so Deponia could be evacuated, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But there was only room for a lucky few. They couldn't take everyone. Well, what's so great about this Utopia? The grass is fresh and green. The sky is blue. The water runs clear. In other words, it is not Deponia. 
Why is this all happening now? Elysium wasn't designed to float in the atmosphere forever. It took the Organon decades to build the required blast towers. They are distributed all over the planet. And now, everything's ready. Ulysses people stuck to their schedule. Elysium needs to be launched now, or it's going to fall back onto the planet. What if the Council of Elders knew that Deponia was inhabited? I don't know. Part of me always believed they would stop the blast then, but that was starry-eyed gold. Okay. I think I understand now, but... But what? But there must be a way! There are even two ways. One leads to Elysium, and from there, onto Utopia. The other one ends here on Deponia, if we survive, that is. I have made my decision, Rufus. Now? It's up to you. Take me with you to Utopia, then. And allow them to destroy Deponia. You don't really want that, Rufus. There is too much good in you. Few people see that. You could never be so ruthless. And if you could, how would you be any different from Cletus? Then let us save Deponia together! But I've already explained. Saving Deponia would mean the end of Elysium. It would end up as just another mound of trash on this garbage dump of a planet. But I can't live like this. I thought you would be able to relate to that, Rufus. It's gonna be a bit of work. So what? I've made my mind up, Rufus. I'm sorry. There has to be a way to accomplish both! Trust me, I can fix everything! Just like you managed to fix me! All I want is a second chance! You had your chance, Rufus. Deponia had its chance. Sometimes things are actually broken beyond repair. You can keep the other two cartridges. They contain nothing but doubts and silly ideals. I can't use those where I'm bound. I've got to hurry! Donna Submersible awaits. If I don't make it to Porta Fisco with Cletus by the day after tomorrow, it will be too late. Good luck, Rufus. But... <sighs> what a woman. Are you out of your mind? She's gonna kill us all. I think she's fascinating. Most importantly, she appears to be the part that knows the Ascension Code. We must stop her somehow. But we're locked in. First, untie me. And then we'll think of something. There is always a way. Yeah, like you need to tell me that. Malevolent karma, so close to a drama Scarazes fresh doubts in her heart disarray And she left him behind, though still not in one mind Planning to reunite with her fierce fiancé But if you think it's time for a fuss to resign So close to the finish line, you don't know him at all For heroes gather momentum on the brink of the maggot On and fall by the squall, they put balls to the wall Rufus! Hmm. Ah, there you are. Ready for Shishash? Uh, Janosch, there really isn't a whole lot of room on the trawler, and, uh... Yes, it's a shame I can't come. I would love to fight on the front line, side by side, like way back then. Way back then? Well, early today's end, but alas, it's not possible. <laughs> I have a mission of my own. Uh-huh, well, that takes precedence, of course. At this point, our organization is simply not large enough to take on the Organon. You think so? Therefore, I too will travel to Porto Fisco. I'm in contact with the group there that has also taken up the fight against oppression. The passage is already booked. 
We are going to establish the resistance shell north, right under the nose of the Organon. How does that sound? Uh, good luck. Thanks. By the way, I must ask you a favor in this context. When you are in Porto Fisco, you must definitely pay us a fish it. I'm certain that people will want to meet the spiritual father of the movement. We'll see. Here, you're going to need this. What is it? We have agreed on a new secret knock. Eh, well, the old one was a piece of crap. Exactly. Nobody was really able to memorize it. Hmm. You know, Janosch, I've really got to go. Yes. Time for you to leave. Adventure is calling! So it is. It's calling. Will you finally shut up, you numbskull? At last? What kept you? Ah, we'll never catch up to the submersible this way. It's not my fault. I was harassed by some bum. Where are we going, anyway? My Donna self mentioned Portofisco, so that's where we should go. I think we should first try to locate the signal from the submersible. I seem to remember there's a radio mast on Isla Watchet. Perhaps I can manipulate the transmitter so that our sonar will recognize the signature of the submersible. By then, Donna will be long gone. No thanks. I say Isla Watchet. Bozo is the captain, and he wants to go to Fisco too, right? We can head for the polar ice cap, as far as I'm concerned. Just as long as you finally agree on something. Enough! I will decide where we're going. Uh, Rufus, those aren't the navigation controls. That's my ear hair remover. Ah. What? That's supposed to be the pole? Lonzo puts more ice in the drinks when he wants to save alcohol. What a disappointment. on my overcoat is starting to dissolve. So, that's Porta Fisco, the former metropolis of the Rust Red Sea. A real dump, even by Deponian standards. And what is that awful stench? Hey there, uh, socially disadvantaged contemporary. Uh, is that necessary? Why? Isn't that the politically correct term? I especially didn't say rancid bum, although it was very tempting. My name is Goon, and if you want to make fun of the homeless, you're in the wrong place. Hey, don't worry. I'm a friend of the little guy. The little guy? Yeah, his name is Wendell. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. I'd almost forgotten. The lower classes don't understand the language of the educated elite. Fortunately, I'm well-versed in ghetto slang. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 please don't do that. Hey-ho, my brother. What's up in the hood? Please stop that. I haven't always lived on the street. I'm an academic. Oh, now I understand. This is some sort of uh, social experiment, right? You've disguised yourself as a tramp in order to study their customs. Um, precisely. <laughs> Very clever. I almost fell for it. But not, not quite. I will admit, your stink is authentic. But as far as your behavior goes, there's a lot to improve. I'm very familiar with the habits of the average hobo. I could uh, teach you a few things if you'll answer a couple of questions in return. But no, no objection. I insist. 
You look hungry. I am. For months, I've been living with an algae that grew on the key wall. My gums are bleeding, but what else can I do? <laughs> I see you're making an effort, but <clears throat> just because it's pathetic, that doesn't make it, you know, bum style. So, so, what do bums eat? Whatever they can find, I'm afraid. No, 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 wrong. Last week, I even nibbled off the scabs from a discarded bandage. <laughs> no, 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 I said wrong. No, bums eat shoes. What? Shoes, everyone knows that. Oh, what is that horrible smell? Oh, how insensitive of me. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> don't you think you're overdoing it a bit? <laughs> Very funny. You don't exactly smell of orchids yourself. Hey, stay in character, okay? A bum like you doesn't even know what, what, what orchidelias are. So keep it cool, okay? Is that your umbrella? Hey, hands off! It's the only thing I still own. The weather here on the quay can sometimes be quite unpleasant. Yet don't worry, I'm not going to take it away from you. I'm just going to make a couple of modifications. It just it looks too new. You think so? Even though it was struck by lightning the other day? There, that should do. But now it won't protect me from the rain at all. Yeah, don't be so ungrateful. I'm helping you stay in character. Can I borrow your umbrella? Are you crazy? First you break it, and now you want to take it away from me? Well, if it's broken, then what do you need it for? As a, a prop for my role. Okay, okay. How about a deal? I'll give you something to eat, and you give me the umbrella. Agreed? You... you would really do that? Of course. I told you I was a philanthropist. Can I have the umbrella now? Did... Did you bring me something to eat? I'm almost dead of hunger. No, that's good. Yeah, I can almost buy it. A, a little more trembling and less wailing, and you'll have nailed it. We could practice a little freestyle. As a resident of the ghetto, you only have to master one instrument, the beatbox. Beatbox? It's very simple. Like this. Oom, a chew. Oom, oom, a chew. Oom, a chew. And now, you. Oom, a chew. Oom, oom, a chew. Rufus got the groove. Rufus got the groove. Yeah. Who's cooler than a platypus in hibernation? Who kicks ass in any situation? Who makes ladies faint and shriek? Can't be copied. He's unique. It's Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. Who's got style? Who is cooler? Who can fool her? Who's the ruler? Who is daring, never queasy? Who will soon be in Elysee? Um, Rufus! Yeah, yeah, Rufus! Baum! Baum! Hey, hey, hey! What? What? Huh? What's that supposed to be? Well, I thought I'd build in a break. You know, that's not thinking. That's pushing yourself into the spotlight. I mean, apparently there's no point in trying to teach you to freestyle. <laughs> Too bad that was one cool song, you bum. You didn't happen to see a submersible go by here. No, sorry. I left my snorkeling gear in my winter house. Oh, that's a pity. Oh, wait a minute! You don't have a winter home! That was sarcasm! <laughs> You're quick on the uptake. Yeah, okay. No more sarcasm. All right, bums. Don't use sarcasm. Can you tell me a few things about Porta Fisco? Certainly. What would you like to know? Who lives in the tent? Oh, that is the tent of the seer. An astounding fellow. They say he can predict the future. <laughs> he doesn't know property values in the real estate market, for one thing. He used to be a wealthy man. They say he could even predict lottery numbers, but his business isn't doing so well anymore. That's why he switched to couples counseling. He gives relationship advice? Why not? He's got the ideal qualification for it. A psychology degree? A crystal ball. How do I get to the Upper Ascension Station? You can't. The Organon has sealed off all the routes to the Ascension Customs. Do you know where I can find the Rebel's secret hideout? Huh? Well, the entrance is right here in the sewers. No, no, I meant the secret hideout. I only know this one here. 
Isn't Porta Fisco also an Organon settlement? It's even their central headquarters. Ulysses has his office right by the Ascension Customs of the Upper Ascension Station. It's always been the Organon's job to keep the Deponians away from the high base. Now there's only one left, and they say it will be leaving the planet very soon. Who knows? Maybe then the Organon will finally disappear from Porta Fisco. Then all of Porta Fisco will make a great leap upwards. Yeah, more than you think. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, it's uh, uh, boring, I think. Okay, let's change the subject. This place is somehow depressing. Yes, yes, I, I can understand that. Uh, Porto Fisco has depressed me my whole life long. Yes, but you aren't that important, so it isn't as bad for you. Smell you later. And remember what I taught you. Sure thing, my brother. Oh, and, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. One more tip. Nobody likes a smart ass. Plus, minus, plus. What is that supposed to mean? I must say, I'm nonplussed. Hmm. Yes, it's me, Rufus. No, it's not. If you were Rufus, you'd know the secret knock. I know it. It uh, starts with N, right? Ha! Good luck. Wrong, but wrong. Blast it! That was actually correct. Of course it was correct, you dope. Rufus, is that you? What are you doing out there? What do I know? Maybe I just enjoy knocking. Come on in. Janlish is expecting you. Rufus, pleased to see you. Janosh. Wow. What you built up here is... It's not all bad. Yes. Recruitment operations are running smoothly. I must have underestimated my charisma. Or the fact that nobody likes being blown to smithereens. Tony? You? Rufus? Huh. You seem to have met. Number 26. This is number two. Our spiritual guide. Rufus is number two? That must be a joke. Yeah, why am I only number two? But now, we have one more than 25 people in our couch. You mean 26? Precisely. Also, that is counting the three train dolphins, actually. And you're complaining about your number? You're training dolphins? That's my job here. Got a problem with that? They are torpedo dolphins. Ah. I can see how under Tony's care, even peaceful dolphins might be transformed into bloodthirsty implements of destruction. But what's the point of that? I mean, how could trained dolphins possibly help you to capture an elevator headed for orbit? Got to work with whatever we can get. Which appears to be especially true for spiritual guides. First, we were going for flying dragons, but that proved to be a vapor mistake. That's what I kept telling number 27, but he just wouldn't listen. Hey, Anosh. Ah, Rufus, death to the Organon and show on. How did you manage to mobilize so many people in such a short time? I think they are just used to having a planet under their feet. And I also promise them t-shirts with funny prints if we win. What's Tony doing here? You know number 26. She joined the rebellion because someone destroyed her hometown. Yeah, I know. The Organon. No, no, not the Organon. Somebody called Evan Bastard. Never heard of him. What's up with those torpedo dolphins? 
cool, I'm safe. If you need to talk to me, but when you say she don't expect too much, I had to share the torpedo equipment to order pizza for all of us. You sold all the torpedo equipment? Yes, in the gadget shop in the movie rock market. The chopper man gave me fireproof insurance as a bonus. Who bought your torpedo equipment? The chopper man. Just in time before the chop closed. <sighs> Donna is hiding underwater. Hm. I almost wish I hadn't sold the torpedo equipment. On the other hand, the peach of us very good. Left to cheesy with the pepperoni. Isn't it a little too risky to operate directly under the nose of the organon? Oh, uh, speaking of which, we got a booger there. A booger? Ooh, <laughs> But that is exactly the point. You can't see right under your nose, and down here in the sewers, nobody wants to smell either. We are even almost out of air fresheners. Oh, I'm off to hunt submersibles. I wish you luck. Do you feel out of pollution? Well, look who came toddling after me. See? You've never been able to resist my animal magnetism. Keep it short, okay? I have a job to do here that needs my total concentration. Guarding dolphins? Keeping down my lunch. What are you doing here anyway? I could ask you the same thing. Didn't you want to go to Elysium with that Gloria? Her name is Gold. And where is Gold? Has she already succumbed to one of your brilliant maneuvers? Did you accidentally toss her out of a burning hot air balloon? Far from it. It was an escape pod. Or did you saw her into pieces? Not literally. Goal is waiting outside, and she's in good health. At least two-thirds of her. One can only feel sorry for her. How did you get here? You didn't know what to do with yourself without me. <laughs> well, I woke up one morning and was amazed to discover that there wasn't a single fire to extinguish in the whole house. I didn't have to repair the roof, scrape toothpaste off the heater, doctor any wounded neighbors. It wasn't even necessary to shoo a GNU out of the kitchen. And then you felt a yearning for me. And then I remembered that I haven't had a vacation in years. In Booza Westwalk, I heard rumors about a rebellion against the Organon. Apparently, that triggered my old rescuer syndrome. You have a rescuer syndrome? If anything, you have a kidnap princesses and hurl fireballs at the rescuer syndrome. Call it what you want. I just thought my experience in recovering the victims of explosions could be useful. Hey, so you do owe some of your skills to me. Great to have you here. Beat it. Whether you believe it or not, I am the leader. Oh, heavens. Just like in my worst nightmare. Oh, yeah. So you still agree with me? I was in therapy because of that. Well, as much as I'd love to talk about your fantasies of me, your dream man has an important mission. Oh. You won't believe everything that's happened to me. Let me guess. You were almost in Elysium, and then your good nature got in the way once again. How did you know that? Because that's the way this conversation always goes. Next, I say, that's what you said the last time. And you say... But it really happened that way this time. Exactly. And even if you are about to say the opposite, you are never going to change. But I have changed. Darn it. The a dolphin pool needs to be cleaned again. Recruit. Excuse me? I hope I misheard that. But Tony, I am the leader here after all. I have to make sure that everything runs smoothly. And I can't show you preferential treatment just because we used to do that. Is... is there a problem, Rufus? I don't think you have your team under control, Yanon. Number 26 here actually attempted to contradict me just now. Oh, is she the I must say, number 26. If the boss gives you an order, then you must obey. But... No butch recruit! Oh, my eye, boss. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was wrong. This is a lot worse than my nightmare. I have a couple of questions about the dolphins. Ah, uh, no. You can't train them to sing karaoke with you. Okay, so much for that idea. But... 
Why are the torpedo dolphins so small? Those aren't torpedo dolphins, you moron. They're their offspring. Baby dolphins? Oh, how cute. There. What was that? What, what was what? Your look. You had that look again. I, I did not. Get away from the pool. Yes, all right, all right. The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen? Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? They make cat food out of baby dolphins, don't they? If anything happens to me, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. Uh, that wasn't a no. Why do the dolphins look so sad? They're depressed. <laughs> I can understand that. You're their trainer. Maybe I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They love physical comedy. How can I cheer up the dolphins? Jump in front of a moving cruiser? No, there aren't any cruisers down here. But it might help. They love physical comedy. If those are torpedo dolphins, then where are their torpedoes? Not where you're thinking. <laughs> That's a relief. Janos sold the torpedo equipment to pay for pizza. Are you serious? Pizza? No, there isn't any left. Oh, darn it. How did you wind up training dolphins? I told them I used to live with a crazy baboon. Apparently, that qualified me. I need the dolphins' help for my hunt. No way! Oh, Tony, please! This is important! He's right, 26. Rufus needs your dolphins more than we do. All right. But right now, he won't have much luck with them. They've been totally depressed all day. Okay, I'll cheer them up. After all, I'm a great entertainer. Oh, look at me. I'm Tony. My hobbies are bitching, screaming, and training golfing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've still got it. You can't tell the difference from the original. Maybe it would cheer them up if you slowly choked to death. They love physical comedy. You know, I think we should change the subject. All this talk is making me hungry. And my ulcer is acting up again. I have to go. I have important things to do. Bleeding and whatnot. What? No cynical final remarks? I thought I'd try something else. I hoped maybe it would make you disappear faster. Heh, <laughs> didn't work, did it? Come in, Rufus. I have been expecting you. Excellent. My reputation precedes me. Not at all. The crystal ball. Tell me of your arrival. And it even knows my name? Actually, I heard you humming your name in the entrance. But no matter. You are late, Rufus. I, I was held up. Yes. I also predicted that. Which, strictly speaking, makes no sense. One more thing. I am going to greatly resent that you stealing my bananas. Are, are you some sort of psychic? I possess the third eye, yes, but I don't practice anymore. Then I dumped the coffee grounds on the carpet in the ante room for nothing? Well, times have changed. Today, if you don't want to end up getting burnt at the stake, you're better off keeping dark for bodies. Yourself. That's why I switch to couples counseling. Say what? You foresaw that you would foresee bad times, and so you gave up fortune telling? B -b -b no, I give up my job in time. Therefore, I will never foresee bad times. And what will never happen cannot be foreseen. However, I did foresee that I would give up my job for this reason. Uh, I kind of wish I was back with Doc's time anomalies. You do couples counseling now? Yes. For some reason, people are more receptive to bad news when it comes to their relationships. Can you predict the lottery numbers? I could. Oh, come on. Tell me the lottery numbers. No. 
Will I succeed in saving the world? The future is not yet written, Rufus. Except in my journal, of course. I will be very busy next month, so I get a little ahead of myself. Why do you live in a tent? My customers expect a mystical ambience. It is also practical. In the event of a catastrophe, I can pack all my belongings together in a matter of minutes. W wait what sort of catastrophe? Oops. Um, the fabric of time is in constant motion. A veil lies across the future. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uncertainty plays naked on the bongos. There is no gasoline for satin nav's chainsaw. Ooh. Hey, don't change the subject. What sort of catastrophe? Ooh. <sighs> Darn it. I don't want your bananas. You will steal them nevertheless, believe me. I really don't want your bananas. Ugh, boring. Resign yourself to the inevitable and take the bananas already. They are tasty. Luscious banana. I don't want to bother you any longer. I have seen it otherwise. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? I'm bored. Didn't you promise me adventure and extreme maneuvers? I didn't make any promises I actually meant to keep. Janosch is having torpedo dolphins trained in his rebel camp. Is that some sort of dirty metaphor? Uh, no, I mean that literally. Hmm, pity. You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. A fortune teller? No way, forget it. Why should I let some random imposter tell me where I'm going? Hey, I don't believe in that stuff either. I meant you. Oh. No sign of Donna Gold. You aren't really making much of an effort, are you? Hey, I'm saving my energy for upcoming challenges. And what if the challenges don't come? Trust me, they're on their way. They're massive for a surprise attack. In the end, all our plans will be foiled, and nothing but an extremely risky coup can save us. And it always works like that? Every time. Cool. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. What was that? That's my new jingle. Hmm, needs a little bass if you ask me. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? And how? Isn't it fantastic here? <laughs> yeah, well, if you're in the squalor. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Says the woman with my head. You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. Oh, fortune teller. Wow. What are we waiting for? Last one, there's a rotten egg. Next year already? So it is written. It's because of the head. Heralds need to breathe too. Oh, there he is. Hey, what were you two talking about? Nothing. Let us begin. So, what do you want? How do I prevent Goal from marrying Cletus? What? You aren't a couple? This is couples counseling. I only answer questions relating to your partnership. Oh yeah, let me rephrase that. What does our future together look like? Tricky. I should ask the board. I see. That you still have a long, difficult path before you. Before us? Don't you mean behind us? Are you holding the ball the right way around? Um, I think so. At any rate, there is an arrow on the bottom. This side up, it says here. Oh, wow, Rufus. So there's still a long road ahead of us. That's great, as long as we're together.
What was that about our future together again? I see. That you still have a long, difficult path before you. That's so nice. I just can't get enough of our adventures together. Tell me more. Will we find Donna Goal in time? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. But let me rephrase that. Will Goal and I ever really get together? A good question. I see. You will undergo painful changes. Before you get together, you both must first come to terms with yourselves. Wow! Have you ever thought about selling embroidered pillows? They would sell like hotcakes! Are we gonna survive all this? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. But let me rephrase that. What does the future hold for our health? I see... Oh my goodness! That is terrible. How can anyone survive that? What? What do you see? <sighs> you don't want to know. Believe me. I must urgently advise you to stay as far away from each other as possible. Never! We will always be there for each other, won't we, Rufus? What will happen to Deponia? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. But let me rephrase that. Where will we grow old together? On Elysium? Well, that should be simple to answer. I see. Huh? What's wrong? The ball suddenly went dark. Very strange. <laughs> that must be because the ball is showing scenes that aren't suitable for youngsters. Or oh, we're taking a romantic walk at night. In any case, it's a good sign. I'm sure of it. And, uh, what are this week's lottery numbers? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. But let me rephrase that. Will we be rich? Lottery winner rich? This is a trick, huh? Well, all right. I'll see if I can perceive anything in the ball. I see that you will be rich. Oh yeah, I knew it! Rich in experience. Provided you survive all this. Oh, what more can one wish for? <laughs> A tip on the lottery numbers, maybe? But the ball will say no more. Ah, this is all humbug. You're holding the ball upside down. I'm afraid not. Here, you are welcome to take a look for yourself. to this time and who's that with the pipe that's the seer seer um him actually oh i sense a new aura and you're about to sense a whole lot of pain i'm not interested in listening to some esoteric heavy dippy nonsense it's more like couples counseling like what come on it'll be fun and I was about to ask a new question. What was that about our future together again? I see. That you still have a long, difficult path before you. This is humbug. Let's get out of here. Now, j j just a minute. What was that about our getting together? Before you get together, you both must first come to terms 
with yourselves. This guy is starting to drive me crazy! May I slap him? <laughs> yeah, that would be fun, but uh, hold off on that for a sec. What was that about our wealth? Oh, you will be rich. Rich in experience, provided you survive all this. That's enough. I can't take any more of this. Wah! How about now? We want to hear lottery numbers. Otherwise, I'll tell you what I can read from entrails. Oh, wait a moment. I haven't said everything yet. The ball isn't telling me the numbers, but it says they are written in the stars. That is bound to help you. Please, don't hit me. Huh. If this tip doesn't pay off, you'll be seeing stars. I promise you that. I'll take it. The guru said the lottery numbers were in the stars. I wonder what he meant by that. Ah, maybe he meant that. Careful, tea's hot. Did I just hear a challenge? No, I... Oh! Ouch! Ooh, darn it. I warned you. What are you making? Iced tea. The tea was against the cold. So? I don't believe in wasting food. And I still had to watch you throw away the fries I stuck up your nose during the night. Now it should be all right. Don't do it. The tea is... Hot? Hardly. No, I mean it's also... Weak. Uh-oh. It's true what they say. You just can't stop the melting at the poles. I'm sure he won't mind. Today is not your lucky day, Seagull. My people rummaged through every pile of garbage, but they found no trace of the girl. She was here. Why would I lie to you? I don't know. You appear to suffer from an inflated ego, just like your son. Rufus is not my son. You can do whatever you want with him. But we had a deal. You wanted a tip, and I gave you one. Can I help it if your people are totally incompetent? You are wasting my time. And I can't spend it when my time is being wasted. Hey you, tone it down a bit. You're scaring the fish. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I want every nook and cranny of this junk pile turned inside out once more and close off all access to the harbor. Even if a rat tries to get out of here, I want to know. That was Argus with his bloodhounds, so the Organon is already after us. Shh! He's right. We need to be careful. Hey, what do you think you're doing? A 
I'm, uh, I'm uh, b bowing before Neptune. Or, uh, isn't that him? What? Where? Are you mocking me? Mocking, robbing, something like that, yeah. Why is the food bowl out here when the cat is locked up inside? Either someone is acting out their sadism, or the cat is a secret way to get outside. I'll try pushing it open. The door was firmly locked. <laughs> Rufus have fire. <gasps> What's better than a mountain of tires? Right, a mountain of burning tires. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Um, nothing. I want to teach the baby dolphins a couple of tricks. You want to do what? Oh, did I say teach? Show. Of course, I meant show. I want to show them a couple of tricks to cheer them up. I don't want them to end up depressed like their parents. If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. The nice lady didn't say that. Once she sees how great you are and jumping through the burning hoops, she'll be blown away. Let's go. Allie, you. Hmm. They still need a little incentive. Yes, that's the way I can teach the dolphins the hoop trick. Oh boy, Tony will be so impressed. I can hardly wait to show her who's the real dolphin trainer around here. Here, fishy, fishy. On the other hand, Tony seems to be really busy right now. Kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty. Look what yummies I have here. Soon, we will see why the food bowl is outside, although the cat is locked up inside. It can't be both inside and not inside at the same time. Unless, of course, unless, of course, this is a Schrodinger cat. Quantum mechanical zombies. Not really dead. Not really alive. Take cover, goal. What? I just unleashed the overwhelming force of wave particle dualism. <laughs> what 
What's wrong? I have no idea what you're talking about. I just solved the greatest mystery of quantum mechanics. There's a cat flap. I may be as agile as a cat, but unfortunately, I'm also as muscular as a lion. Huh. With my broad shoulders, I'd never fit through that narrow flap. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? Well, one third of my mind has fled. The Organon is occupying the floating black market. And if we don't do something soon, Ulysses will blow up the planet right under our feet. I told you this would be fun. I thought you were just bragging. Can you fit through the cat flap? <laughs> You're too fat, aren't you? Hey, that, that's all muscle. Wanna touch it? Ugh, no thanks. I don't want to catch Woblitis. Nothing's wobbling. The light is just bad. Step aside, Bubba. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> a little distracted. Forget it. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. Playing the lottery has nothing to do with luck, only with threatening a seer with physical violence. <laughs> Bingo! Hey you! I want to pick up my winnings! I... <laughs> oh. oh, thanks. Work. Then, let's do it. I went to the radio mast. The transmitter is broken. How do you know? Oh, I found it lying at the foot of the radio antenna. It's fried. So it is. You're right. Oh, I know a fried piece of electronics when I see one. Even when your signature is missing? Can you repair it? I already did. Well, why did you take so long? Mainly because of the lollipop stick that was stuck between the contacts. At any rate, the device is working now. All you need to do is mount it at the top of the radio mast. Easy peasy. Ah, 
it is time. The time of the great banana heist has come, as was foreseen. You underestimate me. I can fight it. Go on. Accept your fate. No, never. Go on. Take them. Help yourselves. No! <laughs> That's the way. Submit to your fate. <laughs> How's it going? Shh! Stop raising such a ruckus. Don't let me worry about that. I'm not afraid of the Organon. Good for you. But please go crow about that somewhere else. Too noisy. Scaring the fish. Oh, get off it. You're afraid of the Organon, too. Just get lost. I thought you said you weren't afraid. Uh, that's right, I'm not. Are you still trying to tell me that you're not afraid of the Organon? No. I'm not trying to tell you anything. I'm trying to be left alone. So, scram! And the fact that the floating black market is under attack doesn't bother you? Not in the least. The only thing that's bothering me is you. If you're not afraid, then why did you stop fishing? Guess why? <laughs> you're trembling all over. Your palms are sweaty. Telltale signs that you're scared. Wrong! The problem's you. Whenever you're in the vicinity, all I catch is boots. So, scram! Could you please catch a boot for me? What a dumb thing to ask. If word gets around, they might boot me out of the fishing association. Is that the biggest of your worries? The fishing association? No, not with you around. You can't do it, can you? Not as long as you're standing there. Come on, I'll be quiet, I promise. Even if I did believe that, although you keep proving the opposite, you're still unlucky. As long as you're standing here, I'll catch nothing but boots. I won't go away until you catch me a boot. You waiting for me to lose my patience? Don't make me laugh, you fidgety wimp. I'm a fisherman. I once solved Gilligan's cube by just waiting until all the colors had faded. Was that a challenge? No, it was a demand for unconditional surrender. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree. I have never, ever given up. Yeah, we'll see. Your feet will rot before I lose my patience. Told you so. You're no match for the patience of a fisherman. best to seem relaxed, but my trained eyes see right through the charade.
fantastic. But that is really the last time I helped Mother Nature iron out the wrinkles in her design problems. How's it going? Get lost. I want to keep on fishing. Oh, come on. Catch me a booze. Forget it. I'm a fisherman. I catch fish. Any kind of fish? Black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. Fish with laces? Nope. Oh, damn. This is a free country. I can stand wherever I want to. Not on my pier. I don't see a sign. Well, maybe you need an extra pupil. A fish hook in your eye should do the trick. I won't go away until you catch me a boot. You waiting for me to lose my patience? Don't make me laugh, you fidgety wimp. I'm a fisherman. I once solved Gilligan's cube by just waiting until all the colors had faded. Was that a challenge? No, it was a demand for unconditional surrender. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree. I have never, ever given up. Yeah, we'll see. Your feet will rot before I lose my patience. You stay out of this. It's important. Oh, good grief. Come on, Rufus. I'm cold. Never. Please, Rufus, I'm cold. Let's go. Did you hear that? The girl's cold. Nice try, buddy. Rufus, I'm freezing to death! Holy mackerel, you take care of the girl already? She's wearing nothing but PJs. Fragile, isn't it? Okay, okay. I give up. I can't bear to see her suffer. Here's your stupid boot. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> you see, Gold? I won! A worn-out boot! Impressive, huh? My hero. Perfect spot for my jacuzzi. Hey, Gold. Everything okay? Boring. What are we doing here, anyway? Don't worry. It's all part of the plan. Okay, I've got a plan. Can you stand over there in the uh, waiting pool for a moment? I'm supposed to stand in a bucket of water in the middle of a thunderstorm. So you'll do it? Heavens no! How naive do you think I am? How naive? Okay, change your plan. Wait a moment. You aren't going to switch me and ask my naive alter ego, are you? But Gold, who would do something like that? I'm warning you. No, wait. You ignore warnings. I'm not warning you. Okay? Too late. Drat. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. The baby goal! 
Hey, Gold. Everything okay? Not really. I'm afraid of thunder. I'm here. All is well. Can you stand in the waiting pool again? Of course. And now? Wait for it. If my plan works, then you should soon see <laughs> the light. <laughs> because you'll be hit by lightning. <gasps> what? Uh, don't move. I'll be right back. How nice. You are a real friend. Yeah, wait. Don't talk. How about that? Now I can finally wash my feet or brush my teeth or water the flowers I was going to donate to the orphanage. That's <laughs> it. Oh, great. Only oily water comes out of the map. Just what I needed. An island in the middle of the sea. <laughs> the good old banana in the exhaust trick. I should be able to siphon off some diesel with that. Uh, yum! <laughs> Tasty. Now I need to hurry and find a proper container. It's all running into the sea. That is probably the most boring container for transporting diesel that I could come up with. But it's better than nothing. You look hungry. I am. You don't happen to have anything edible on you? Uh, nothing suitable. No. But I, I don't care what it is. I could eat anything. No, no, no. Wrong. What do you mean, wrong? You can't eat just anything. Bums eat shoes. What? Shoes. Everyone knows that. The most this old shoe could be used for is a meal for tramps. But that wasn't really the issue. It was a matter of principle. I think I might have something for you to eat. Really? Wow. I don't know what you said. No, 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 not so fast. I want to suggest a trade. I'll give you the food, and you give me your umbrella. Uh, I don't know. It's the only thing I still own. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Yummy food. Oh, all right. Agreed. Hey, wait a minute. It's just a broken shoe. Exactly. The appropriate food for a tramp like you. What? But, but that's... No, no, no. Thank me later. Bon appetit. The tank is full again. Time for a little turbine action. This isn't the sensor phalanx. That's one of those handy slots where you can insert power inverters. It fits.
wait for it. If my plan works, then you should soon see <laughs> the light. <laughs> because you'll be hit by lightning. <laughs> Now, we have to fix these air freshener trees above your head somehow. About like that. Oh, how pretty. Like decorations for the barbecue Thursday tree. Here, you'll need this. What were the odds? About as high as being struck by lightning. So lucky. It's hard to believe. Well then, let's do it. Ow! Everything all right? Everything's fine. I'm tingling with excitement. Believe me, you'll be even more <laughs> tingly if my plan works. Oh, how nice. It'll be <laughs> an electrifying experience for you. I'm so looking forward to it. Understanding will hit you like a <laughs> bolt from the blue. What was that? That, uh, just, just forget it. What were those thunderstorm rules again? Well, never be in water during a thunderstorm. Also, never stand under a tree. Willows are especially dangerous. And finally, don't hold an open umbrella. But even if you do all these things at once, the chances of being struck by lightning are still very small. Winning the lottery is almost more likely. Hmm. Water, tree, umbrella, lottery. Oh, that should be everything. Uh, d d don't move. I'll be right back. How nice. You are a real friend. Yeah, wait. Don't talk. Hey, that worked really well. What worked well? Aren't you even paying attention while I risk my life here? Sorry, I, I, I must have blinked for a second. And do you enjoy working under my wise leadership? I have a couple of questions about the dolphins. Uh, no, you can't train them to sing karaoke with you. Okay, so much for that idea. But I need the dolphins' help for my hunt. All right. But right now, we won't have much luck with them. They've been totally depressed all day. Okay, I'll cheer them up. After all, I'm a great entertainer. Oh, look at me. I'm Tony. My hobbies are bitching, screaming, and training dolphins. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've still got it. You can't tell the difference from the original. <laughs> Maybe it would cheer them up if you slowly choked to death. They love physical comedy. You know, I think we should change the subject. All this talk is making me hungry. And my ulcer is acting up again. I have to go. I have important things to do. Bleeding and whatnot. What? No cynical final remark? I hope maybe it will make you disappear. Heh, didn't work, did it?
<laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphin. My plan obviously needs a little polish. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphin. Obviously needs a little polish. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dog. Hey, what's the big idea? You're supposed to. The dolphins seem to like it. And I said I know something about intelligent comedy. <laughs> In five seconds, stays with Tony. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They really are highly intelligent. at my fleeing girlfriend, raise your fin. Torpedo dolphins are ready, and I know the position of the submersible. So that's it then. Hunt begin! I just have to send a single dolphin to the grid square where the submersible is, and then...
The fact that I used torpedoes to cause a part of her to capsize might negatively affect my chances with gold. Normally, one would assume that, yes. After all, half of her is a third of your girlfriend, or whatever you might call your relationship. We probably need to invent a new term for it. <laughs> a dramedy of errors.
I'm going down there now. Maybe there's a back door. This impossible sounds rather illogical. Yeah, but as I'm sure you know, the laws of logic have no effect on your life. No, that's not true. Now stop this underwater claptrap and just lower me down, okay? All right, it's your name. Pot is still hot. Maybe hot enough to light the candle. I mean, melt. Ah, finally. Next time, you might want to tell me when you're going to switch my mind. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> yes? Hello? Hmm, very funny. Oh, man. <laughs> I must definitely do that again right away. What? Rufus? Was that you? Rufus! Blasted idiot. Next time, toss him overboard. <laughs> it gets funnier every time. Once again, with what? <sighs> Why don't you just cut off the bell? Because I am planning to cut something entirely different off of the immature idiots. That's not a bad idea either. Ow. Yep, that's the perfect subject for a wax impression. Or a larger-than-life statue at the entrance to the harbor. What do you think? That's my stunt double. May I introduce myself? Ray Coulson. Stunt double? You aren't afraid of the dolphins, are you? Me? Afraid? I can only laugh at the idea. <laughs> Wait a minute. What dolphins? Not quite, Ray Coulson. Anyway, I can't look in a suit like that. It's too light. Yeah, I'm too light. <laughs> then I guess not. You know, I prefer to do my own stunts anyway. Now there's no room for me. Hey, Bozo! Together again at last! Raiding the Seven Seas, just like in the old days! Well, we only met a few days ago. But I already know that all attempts to interrupt you and acting like that are few. So I'll just keep talking like nothing happened. Hope you get over it soon. <laughs> Good old Bozo. You really haven't changed one bit. 
Yeah, so far so good. But how can I get in there? Have you tried the hatch? Uh, yes, but maybe I should try it again, just to make sure. Looks like the dolphins don't like me. What can I do about those dolphins? Let me try something. All right. Dang it. Closed. Too closed for my taste. I'll find another way. Now there's no room for me. I guess not. Okay, I have a plan. Are you sure the word plan means what you think it does? From what I've seen, it could just as well mean hangover, epileptic fit, or pebble in his shoe. Just trust me, the dolphins absolutely want a target. <laughs> Presenting <laughs> Ray Coulson. The, in the broadest sense of the term, human target. I take back everything I ever said about you, because you scare me. Time for my stunt double, Ray Coulson. Now there's no room for me. Hey, Bozo. Hey, what's up? Can you please help me lower the dummy? Sure. Do you think they're taking the bait? It's worth a try. Those critters really appear to hate you. Yes, but why? It might have something to do with the fact that you transform their children into canned fish. But that's not true. Oh, I see. You merely help them jump into the kitchen, where all of a sudden a few cans of tuna appear, right? Perhaps Yanosh's mom had to make a little room on her shelf for the aquarium. For the aquarium? Exactly, because I would never Whoa! No matter what you did, they are really pissed off. Oh. Are you ready for another dive? No. It's yours. Left in the lurch, on the verge of the perch, the search for the submerge was brought to a halt. They stopped Donna Gold Spins with torpedo dolphins, and finally Hoaglins, I cannot exalt. How extendingly aced, he was dragged to the base, the bell for the last round was about to chime. The showdown was imminent, and if not, I apprehend the chorus guys will have to work over time. Rufus, just where have you been? I was forced to submerge for a while. You picked a great time for that. While you were out snorkeling, we were kidnapped by Donna Gold in a surprise attack. I can't leave you alone, not even for a moment. She took gold with her, as well as the remotes and the cartridges. Nonsense. I've got them right here. Uh, oh, crap. 
must be a hole in my coat. I keep losing stuff. This time you lost more than usual. Cletus was here. He took both gold with him. They're planning to travel to Porto Fisco in Argus's cruiser. Argus is here too? Well, this cruiser is moored alongside that blast tower over there. Criminy! The blast tower! The rebel attack has already started. But that's suicide! You're right. They're completely lost without me. Oh, Rufus, you really don't know when it's time to give up. Of course I know that. And it starts with Anne, right? Genetic fusion is irreversible. You gotta be kidding me. At last, I was on the verge of leaving without you. You know what they say about the Organon. That they resulted from an early attempt to cross human DNA with soya flour? That we always stick to our schedules. Oh, you have your mother's sense of humor. We would have been here sooner if half the tower weren't cordoned off due to fighting. Do you often have armed riffraff hanging out in your facilities? This ridiculous peasant uprising should be of no concern to you, still. It seems odd that the Deponians are revolting at this very moment. Do you know anything about it? It's Rufus. He's trying to stop me. Rufus? Persistent little fellow. He's an idiot. You underestimate him. That's it, baby. You tell him. He's only half as stupid as he looks. Double that, and you might have a point. He just doesn't know when the time has come for him to quit. Speaking of time, are you ready now? Just a moment. I left my bag inside. Get on with it! We will cast off as soon as the engines are warm, with your bag or without! Cletus! Here! Cletus? What's he doing? Bomb controls! La la la! Could he be? Fiddling with the bomb controls? I'm fiddling with the bomb controls. Ah, la la la. No, oh, that can't be what it looks like. This is just what it looks like. I'm really messing with the boo, with the bee, with the bar, with the bow, with the bomb controls. That, that, that. Oh, that a boo, that a bee, that a bar, that a bow. Rufus got through. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, that traitor! He's actually fiddling with the bomb controls! I've got to stop him! Goal? Donna, anybody? Huh, apparently nobody's home. No wonder. The implant is empty. Hey! There's Donna's remote, and the two other cartridges. I'll insert one of them. Hmm. Unfortunately, Gold's remote is missing. She must still have it on her. Hmm. Unfortunately, Gold's remote is missing. She must still have it on her. Thank you. 
The cartridges have really suffered, but not as much as Cletus will. since I counted. What's the matter? You see Cletus back there. He's rather bloody. Something isn't right with my eyes. Whoops! Oh! Look, Rufus! I'm Donna! I know. Feed him to the sharks! <laughs> Very nice. Now, can we briefly consider the problem at hand? Sure! Bring it on! Cletus is about to return to Elysium with Lady Gold and... Just now, I caught him messing with the bomb controls. I think he wants to eliminate the population of Deponia. Then, there would be no more reason not to blow the place up. Oh, big time meanie. This is hard to believe. We have to tell Lady Gole about this. She might be a little hard to convince. Actions are better than thoughts. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Yeah, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. And therefore, Cletus is the good guy and Rufus is nothing but a... Uh... Hey, ladies! Rufus, what are you doing here? You miss me, I know. But now's not the time for our big reunification foo for all Our what? Has Baby Goal explained everything to you? I was going to. It looks like I got some of it wrong. Lady Girl just explained to me why you cannot be trusted. What? But you were supposed to persuade Lady Gold, not the other way around. Oh, right. That was your plan? I was almost going to say you need to think of something better, that you might take that as encouragement. Well, I do. Please don't fight. Don't worry, baby. Lady Gold is about to see her mistake. Yes, I do see my mistake. The mistake is you. And even Baby Girl isn't quite as naive as you seem to believe. Right. But, hey, look, did I just see a funny butterfly in there? A butterfly? <whistles> you really stop at nothing, don't you? Well, I'm doing it my way. Your path just leads you from one disaster to the next. Perhaps that is the right path for Spunky Gold, but it is not mine. Now listen to me, will you? Why should I? You're not listening to me either. I'm going with Cletus. You should be glad I'm not setting the organ on you. You have exactly three seconds to get out of here. That is my parting gift to you. But goal! One. I... Two. Cletus is only taking advantage of you, and when you look down on my Bernie cadaver, you're really going to regret some of the things you just said. There. So there. <laughs> and now? Oh, I'm really getting tired of this stupid implant. Are you okay? More or less. Can I have a summary? Okay. We're in Argus's bomb control tower. I think that Cletus intends to trigger the detonation. What? That's slimy! And where is Donna Gold? Actually, you are now Donna Gold. You? Yeah, Lady Gold has got your body, and she's on the balcony outside. She still thinks that everything's fine with Cletus. Perhaps you can talk to her. Maybe she'll listen to herself. I most certainly will. Luckily, I know how to talk to recalcitrant women. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Hmm, maybe I should fall, just to make sure. Don't you even notice how little sense you're making? But I damn well saw it! Refrain from cursing, please. I hate it when you do that. You're hardly going to change my mind by using expletives on me. So what about using my fists on you? How typical. Whenever you run out of arguments, you will to violence, also known as dyslexia of the soul. Let me show you how I spell knuckle sandwich. Mm, perhaps with an S, as in stepladder. Ladies, ladies, there are peaceful ways of settling your differences, like uh, a round of mud wrestling or something. Oh, Rufus! 
I might have known you were behind this. You really stop at nothing, don't you? Well, I'm doing it my way. Your path just leads you from one disaster to the next. Perhaps that is the right path for Spunky Girl, but it is not mine. It's okay, Rufus. No need for you to help me out. This is just between me and me. You go take care of Cletus. He's the bigger problem now. Oh, right. Almost forgot about him. So, where was I? In a manure pit, judging by the smell. What? I'll get you for that. Whoa. I suppose they really should discuss that among themselves. How can you carry on such extended conversations with yourself? I find that a bit disturbing. This dirty. But back to more pressing issues. I must stop Cletus before he. Huh? Cletus? But. Huh? Where did he go? Now, a countdown? No, 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 stop, 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 stop! That was a close one. But if that was the countdown, then what was Cletus doing here? Something fishy is going on here. Hey! Cletus, what are you doing? Open up, you coward! Why should I? So that you can go ahead and mess up my plans again, loser! Well, it looks like I already did. At least you didn't manage to trigger the bomb. So, who's the loser now, huh? You, of course, as always. You see, I never meant to trigger the bomb. But I saw you fiddling with... I was trying to sabotage the explosion for crying out loud. Ulysses' plan was sheer lunacy. I blocked the suspension clamps. The Organon are not going to detonate the bomb with it like that. There would be little damage to the planet. It would only destroy the bomb tower. And by the time they find the fault, the Council of Elders will be aware of the existence of the Napoleons. You should thank me. I saved your people. And you too, alas. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The Deponians mean nothing to you or to you, but at least I'm not afraid of admitting that. All I care about is go. For some reason, she is hell-bent on giving Deponia a fair chance of survival. And you know me. I would gladly sacrifice the world just to make a lady smile. The Elders will probably blow the place up anyway. I actually even hope so. But by then, it will no longer be my responsibility. And let's be honest, you wouldn't have done more than that for your people, would you? So why would you make me a worse match for gold? And given that, what could possibly prevent me from taking her to Elysium? Hmm, <laughs> that shuts you up all right, huh? Hey, you moron, what are you doing? I'm switching the countdown back on. It's a little shorter this time. Are you out of your mind? Shut that off this instant! Happy to oblige. Is this the switch? Oopsie! I can be such a klutz sometimes. I wish there was somebody in here who knows his way around this stuff. Too bad you already have to leave. You rotten chunk of sewer slime! What have you done this time? Let me see. Perhaps I can bypass the controls. You had better pray that this works. That traitor! What are you doing? Ow! <laughs> 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 Ouch! <laughs> 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 
Beginning to feel sorry for you. Who knows how I would behave if I'd been born in a landfill without any hope for a better life, without any hope. I would love to do you a favor and put an end to your useless existence. You would never give up on your own. Just a little well-aimed kick. Too bad that is impossible because you've got something that belongs to me. For the last time, will you give me that accursed remote? I know, you need the ascension codes, don't you? What are you getting at, smart ass? You know exactly what I want. This isn't about Gaul, is it? Quit wasting my time, you freak. Hand me that remote this instant, or we're all going to be blown to kingdom come. The bomb is ticking. Oopsie Daisy! No! You crack brained num nuts! <laughs> uh, Goal! Oh, that was just wow! Well done! Yes, looks like it. I just didn't want to believe it. But you were obviously right about him all alone. Why did he do that? Uh, doesn't matter now. Help me up! Yes, yes, of course. But first, I need to apologize. I have wronged you. I just thought that... I thought you were lying to me. I should have trusted you from the very beginning, not him. Triggering the bomb sequence behind my back. Unbelievable. I could never be with such a liar. And still, that's what's happened. No, Cletus is the liar, right? Yes. Cletus, what? Lied to me? Rufus? Cletus is, uh... The liar? Yeah, uh... Just say it! Cletus didn't lie to you. What are you saying? He didn't start that sequence. I did. You? Does that mean Cletus hasn't betrayed me after all? I knocked him down for no good reason. In a way, yes. But I'm telling you the truth. So that shows I'm the good guy here, right? No, it only shows that the best possible Rufus is still worse than Cletus. Goal! Goal! Don't leave me hanging! I told you everything, didn't I? Goal! Well, Rufus, once again you managed to turn the tide against yourself at the last moment. <laughs> As I said before, you don't even want to be. At least not by cheating, right? You played pretty well so far, but eventually the cards was always laid on the table. I've got two queens, and you? Are we playing rummy now? Shh! <laughs> Looks like you screwed up once again. Or do you have a trump left up your sleeve that I'm not aware of? Janosh and his resistance fighters will be up here any moment! Those miserable creatures don't make me laugh. I seriously doubt that any of them are still alive. Whoever concocted this attack must be completely retarded. The whole action is so stupid. I can hardly imagine you didn't have something to do with it. Hey, uh... Okay, change the subject. Gold won't let that happen. Helen Gold. I'm sorry, Rufus. It must have been very difficult for you to show me your true face. What that? I see now who you are. Very brave. But it isn't enough, unfortunately. 
You've disappointed me once too often. You heard the girls. Game over. <laughs> You think this is a game? This is about an entire planet full of innocent people. Oh, that's enough of your pseudo-moral nonsense. For you, this was never about the people. This was about you getting the girl. So, my friend, what is the difference between you and me? Maybe the fact that I'm not an arrogant snot? Precisely. You are the filthy underdog. The outsider from the underclasses. But only as long as you want. You can't win without becoming exactly like me. No more than you can live on Elysium without destroying Euphonia. There is no scenario in which you This isn't the end, you know. Oh, I see. You're hoping for a third act. The hero dashes onto the runway, knocks on the window of the high boat. There's only one catch, Rufus. You are not a hero. You are a tragic comic clown. And this is not a romantic comedy. This is some sort of self-reflective, independent crap in which there are no answers at the end. No happy ending. Only a good look at an ugly reflection, which then blabs the subtext as well. Chaos cannot win when the goal is order. <laughs> Something like that. I've still got the other remote. You're still missing a queen for your full goal. Oh, never mind that one. You can keep her. The game is over. And the jackpot is enough for me. Two amazing, gorgeous women. One on the left, one on the right, and me in the middle. <laughs> her purest and noblest qualities finally reunited. More than enough gold for a modest man like me. All you have is a stupid cartridge with nothing but goals, mental and childhood troubles. That one is rude, defiant, argumentative, forever spreading chaos. Just like Rufus. Exactly. Completely useless. Uh, you do realize you're talking about me, right? What? Well, at least I'm honest. You like that one, don't you? Yes. Yes, you're right, of course. But it's a piece of yourself, Gaul. Without it, you'll never be complete. So what? We don't give a hoot. I have the better goals. And the Ascension Codes. We should finally crank up the countdown now. It's not like I can switch it off at this point. Thank you, Rufus. But at least the explosion will be limited to the tower itself. Say, thank you, Cletus. Because I'm a gentleman, I shall give you and your rebel buddies enough time to make a hasty retreat. That's what you do best, after all. Farewell, Rufus. You weren't really a worthy opponent, but that probably would have been asking too much. No! You can't do that! Cletus! It all belongs together! Wait! I... Oh, I... Oh, I... This is getting a bit exhausting! It's... Uh... Great! They've stopped shooting. Oh, at last. Do you think we won? Actually, I'm not sure. Ah! Ouch. Rufus! Listen up, everybody. It's Rufus! Yeehaw. Uh, oh. Janos? You guys are alive? Of course we are alive. What did you think? We need to get out of here as fast as possible. The tower is about to explode. Then let us gather everyone together as fast as we can. Don't forget me. Goal! Not her again. Goal! You? But wh why aren't you with Cletus? Well, the prospect of going home was really tempting, but I would have missed an important part of myself. A and Cletus? I locked him out on the gangway. Spunky Goal would surely have found a more dramatic solution. But I found myself cool enough, and Cletus blew a fuse. However, in the light of the impending explosion, he must have decided that one goal was enough for him. Speaking of which, we mustn't waste any time. But what about you? I mean, what about your third part? Aren't you going to miss Baby Goal as well? Hmm, you know, I happened to find this on my way down here.
She is definitely going to change her mind. Just trust me. Ambassador, it is time. The tower has been evacuated. We must leave at once. All right. All right. By the way, Gore, I knew you'd come back. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I can leave again, you know. But you won't. Argus plan went awry, and then of the story. You have to admit, you enjoyed it a bit. Now you saw reason, dumped your egotism, and weighed against the public benefit. Because close to the bonus, where you need cojones, and platypuses and memberships to opposing underground organizations, so do unpack the bag. Now it's anyway way too late to sack me, and secondly, where am I gonna stay? Osama, so far away. 